You will then need a bead of your choice and an eye pin. Take the eye pin through the one side of the cage and then through the bead and fold the cage over. Then feed the eye pin through the other end of the cage. Pull the wire tight and cut off the excess to the length required. Push the wire down the bead to form the cage. And there you have your caged earrings. Hello and a very good morning to you, or good afternoon if you're watching repeats and the warmest of welcome to Jewellery Maker and it's a little bit of a special day here for us because it's the last time we're doing something and I can't tell you what it is! It's so exciting. Um, good morning, I'm Lucy here to take you through the next four hours and as always I'm not on my own. Now then, is it your first time as a married on screen today, Max. It is. Yes, this is the newly married Max of Max and Bella, who are not just, I uh, <laughs> used to always say, not just partners in business, but partners in life. They're not just partners in business, they're husband and wife. Yes, indeed. Husband and wife team, Magnus and Bella. It's yeah. really exciting. It so, is. for all the viewers out there who obviously uh, know you and Bella, yeah. and Bella is um, Max's uh, wife, <laughs> who, who's also one of our designers on the show. Now, for those people um, who have been excited about the wedding, can you just say a little bit of a something? Because people will be hankering at the bits to know it's all went okay. It was brilliant. It was fantastic. It was really, uh, it was magical, as they say. It was, um, it was probably the best day of my life. So, yeah. Yay! It was amazing, really, really amazing. If you'd like to send your well wishes in, you can always text in to 60777 <laughs> to, uh, to Max and we'll make sure Bella gets to see them as well. So this is Max, everybody. Now, again, since you've been on, maybe we've got a lot more new people watching. Maybe. For those people out there who've not met you before, could you just give us a little insight into the worlds of Max and Bella? Okay, we are uh, what we call artist jewellers and goldsmiths or silversmiths, which means we work in precious metals, gems, we also work in high-tech resins, found objects, all kinds of things. Uh, and what we kind of specialise in, really, is um, encapsulating memories. So if people have got things that they not, don't necessarily want to wear or they've got bits and pieces, um, we can turn it into jewellery for you. So that's, that's kind of what we're known for at the moment. And it's, but it's we do, we do traditional thing. stuff. Thank you very much. And for those of you out there, I mean, there's there's people out there who have who are, have got to know Mags and Bella and, and what they do <coughs> through the show, and you've had jewellery made by them. So if you'd love to, if you can put your pictures up on Facebook today to show some of their work, it'd be amazing. I know a lady had, was it some of her? Um, Oh, do you know what? There's, there's absolutely there's loads. loads. There is loads <laughs> there's of stuff. Absolutely we, loads. we do have a, a Facebook page, Magnus and Bella, um, uh, at Facebook, and we also have a website which you can. It's called MagnusandBella.co.uk, but it's A N D rather than ampersand. MagnusandBella.co.uk. So yeah. check it out, and then that enables you to have, sort of have an, an idea about who is giving you the advice, showing you the technical uh, side of the show and also giving you some fantastic design ideas. I love what you've done with that first kit. Thank you very much. Now, did you and Bella make up the kit together? Um, the kit? This time, no. It was all me on my own. Oh, no, hang on. I tell a lie. She did thread some beads. Oh. But this time, the design... You see, this is the thing. Uh, the, the design ideas, uh, a lot of the time, the best stuff is hers. So today, if it's not good, you blame me, not, not her. No! <laughs> you put some self down. So we'll be setting Max a challenge a little later in the show. Okay, so coming up for you in today's show, we've got three fantastic brand new kits, all of which are incredibly affordable. So should we have a look at those? Let's have a little gander. First one coming up, look at these sunset... Do you know what? For those of you who joined me again the, uh, the other day, and we were talking about sunsets, it would be brilliant for those of you who uploaded some pictures onto our Facebook page of pictures of your sunsets to get inspiration. If you wouldn't mind doing that again, that would be fantastic. We'd really appreciate it. Maybe we might be able to bring, could we possibly, are we able to bring images off Facebook live on screen? I don't know if we're allowed. 
I think, I think it's a legal thing. Just because I'd, I'd love to get some images of these sunsets that you put up the other day. That really epitomises those look, those deep, rich reds and orangey tones and the jet blacks in there as well. That's stunning. That's the first of the new kits. Also coming up, uh, our second new kit of the day is this one. And it's, oh, it's beautiful. That is amazing. That is beautiful. So pretty. So, so pretty. I tell you what, right, I'm, do you know what? I'm going to take it upon myself to set a challenge. Okay, have a look at this kit again. Have a look at this kit. Now, at the moment, this has got, this has got a name I don't like, so it wants to change it. <laughs> We'd love to text in now. Ed, our manager, will have the ultimate decision on the name of this kit. Let's text in 60777. We'd love to know what you think this kit should be named. 60777. We'll be doing that probably around about the 11 o'clock mark. Make sure you start your text message, JM Studio. And the person, here's today's competition, I love it. Now, unfortunately, this is only available during the live show because in the repeats, it'll have already been named. But during the live show, if you can think of a name for that kit, let's look at it again. A name for that kit. Oh, we've got some good ones being banded around the uh, studio, actually. 60777, start it off Jam Studio. The person who names the kit and the name that we choose, if you are the person whose name we choose, that is, you will ha also have a scoop sent to you for free, a scoop of beads. So can you name that kit for us? Name that kit. 60777. Now, in order to do that, we will also need a part of your text message. We won't show it on air, of course. It's your customer number. So make sure you attach your customer number. If you've never shopped from us before, buy something this morning so you can get a customer <laughs> number by 11 o'clock. And then we'll send you a free scoop. So look at it once again. It is absolutely stunning. Can we name that kit? Have we had text messages coming in? Nothing in yet. 60777. I know it's first thing in the morning. 60777, text in the name of that kit. If we choose the name that you've named it, you'll be sent a free bee scoop. Fabulous. Oh, that's a bit of an exciting little shindig. And then also, let's have a look at the third kit for you in today's show. Now, this is called Wicked Lady. I like this. Wicked Lady. I'm thinking that Linda might have named that. That's fab, isn't it? I've just put it on the little bit of hand cream. Would you like some hand cream, Mags? It's a bit girly, so. No, I'm all right, it. thank you. Uh, are you, are you, are you um, noticing my cuticles? I'm not no, my cuticles I'm just back. my hands are so sore with the cold weather. Oh, I was just it's wondering. terrible, isn't it? Oh, it's e minus four this morning. Really? Anyone else for some hand cream? No, is everyone all right? Can't offer any hand cream. Would you like some hand cream? Um, can I also take this opportunity before we go full um, flesh into the show, just to say, Fiona, thank you so much for my message on Facebook, and I know you'd put it on Facebook as well. Fiona's one of our regular viewers, and I've met her on the Sunday sofa, and she was concerned about the temperature of the caterpillar that I'd rescued out of a packet of sugar snap peas that we think had come from Kenya. Um, I have now put it in the indoor composting in the shed so it's warmer because we're a bit concerned it might be too cold. And then it can also, um, we don't go in that shed very often, the shed that is so uh, it can get nice and toasty warm and turn into a beautiful butterfly for the summer so yeah i found a caterpillar in a packet of sugar snap peas wow. that was had come from kenya that i bought from a supermarket extra protein indeed i don't i don't want to eat it it was alive oh. so thank you very much for that and uh right then what show we had yesterday hey we are <laughs> hoping that the technical difficulties will not attack us today and unfortunately due to that we will not be cutting any sausages on air with monofilament if you enjoyed that part of the show yesterday that will stay there we'll move forward with it today so coming up for you then we've seen that you've got three fantastic new kits the second one of which we are get, waiting to hear what it will be named by you and actually let's stop the music <coughs> thank you for that max that was very very musical of you is this the turn is when you put your hand on the turntable <coughs> oh you see what is it about boys and the noises that they make <coughs> Do it again.
Would you like to just look at these? That are oh, brand thank new? you. Yeah, beatbox demographic, <laughs> jewelry making demographic, large space between. Don't connect. It's really. <laughs> We'll talk about these. Bead Look at those. Box, Aren't they amazing? Not box. They are amazing. They're bronzite. Whoa. We're going to be doing them later. They're some of the. They're huge. They're rondelles and wheels, and you go from wheel rondelle, wheel rondelle, so on and so forth, the whole way around. These are going to come up a bit later in the show. Now they are absolutely wicked. They're going to be at twelve o'clock. The manager's special, and we haven't got a huge quantity of stock of these, unfortunately. So you're going to have to make sure you're on the phone lines quite quickly for them. They're going to be coming up at twelve o'clock today which also means they're going to be coming up in about two hours and 50 minutes wow. <laughs> everybody watching they are lovely aren't they as you oh, say yeah. chunky 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 gemstones which are we doing for it's our me. early bird hello. special kim mm. what did he say sorry i said oh it's me hello <laughs> i was looking up at the big screen and i was like hello I was looking at the. Sorry. Yeah. Get me caught. Okay. Lovely. Do you, um, yeah. <laughs> Chloe's just done. Swags need a coffee. So, oh. right, we'll put our orders in. It's on its way. Yeah, it's alright. These are lovely. They're absolutely gorgeous. They're stunning, aren't they? That amazing golden tone. Oh. Do you know what? I would literally... I'd restrand it like that. These are beautiful. The way that you've got that pattern... End is... drilled, aren't they? Pardon? It's like, it's like a, an end drill, a bit like a briolet or a briolet. Yeah. yeah. These little, the beautiful pear drops. Aren't they stunning? And because of the way they literally go from this deep, rich, dark green into a gold, is quite amazing. They're really beautiful. The amount of designs that you can make, literally, you see if I do that, isn't that beautiful? I've, I've got to hold it's these simple, the isn't neckline, it? isn't it? And that's just alternating the different pearls. That's a design already set for you to go. Actually, just twisting it, that gives it a slightly different look again, doesn't it? And then if I just sort of straighten it all out, I'm going to pop them up to the neckline. Oh, wow, yeah. Kim's just suggested, imagine using the monofilament and doing a beat. That is beautiful now you need to be quick off the line these are potato pearls but they're top drilled so rather than being center drilled that top drill is giving you this delicate little dangle they're measuring five by six up to an eight by eight millimeter they're absolutely exquisite now if you take a really good look as well in certain lights with the close-up there you're getting that beautiful green hue and then you've got this almost um sort of like a peacocky and intense blue hue in there. Again, they just alternate from, from the champagne to the blue, champagne to, well, sorry, to the green. They're just stunning. They're absolutely stunning. The best of luck to all of you. I've got a lot of people on the phone lines for these. We've never done a strand like this before, I don't think. Well, I've certainly never presented a strand like this before. Look at the perfect symmetry of these. These are amazing quality. Look at how smooth. Look how smooth they are. Oh eight hundred six trouble four six double five. They are so beautiful. The hues of them. The, the, there's a real perfection. I mean, there's no rings on them. They are amazing. What beautiful pearls these are. That strand is going to just give. I, I, to be honest, I know that I would be buying. I probably will buy two of those strands. Because you can actually just restrand. Can you imagine little dangly earrings like that? They're almost almost like a little vine, aren't they, Chloe? Say, my director. They are absolutely exquisite. Let's hold them up to the neckline again, because I think just as a necklace. I mean, you don't. You wouldn't necessarily use all of these just together. You might want to start 
popping in lots of other gemstones with them. But I think, oh, that's just, that and they're gonna be the most amazing price. This is the early bird catches the worm, folks. The best of luck to all of you. They are brand new today. They are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pearls. I can't get over the symmetry of them, how smooth these are. They just, they feel beautiful. These are some of the finest quality of pearls that I've presented to you in a potato shape and they're top drilled, so you've got a lovely little dangle. They are stunning. They're seven pounds and 95 pence. You have to get at least two of those strands, don't you? You have to. It's only one post and packaging price for all of your purchases all day. And again, you don't have to use them all together. This is the opportunity for you to be getting dark green and the champagne pearls. There's a lot of people on the phone lines. Hold the line there. We're going to be with you. And there's a lot of there's a lot of stock available though. So come on and get grab them. Grab them, grab them, grab them in bulk if you like. WGD P75. You've got that gorgeous champagne and that deep, intense dark green but can you see how almost there you've got almost like a blue hue okay we've got only got 70 of these strands left oh my word they're going they're going they're going good good it's people getting ready for their spring collections that sort of green and gold yeah crocuses coming up i know it's really oh, cold today nice but thought, people yeah. starting to think about their um about their spring styles and also with the brie drill on you can do all of the brie electrics you know like um you put your head pin through and then bend it back and you get a little dangly you know the the, yeah. the teardrop of it and also the same thing you can do is to is to make them kind of shower sideways off a um off clusters so yeah there's plenty i mean the the good thing is that they're not center drilled so you got a, you got you have got that yeah, little drop. embellishment uh potential with them and they are, yeah, they are just gorgeous. Seven ninety-five on those pearls, they're stunning. I just, there's something about them that makes me think of the um, the old entrance to the Savoy Hotel in, I, I've in not London. I've actually been to the Savoy Hotel. Sorry. Well, darling, when one is in the West End and performing at the Savoy <laughs> Theatre next door, you tend to just pop in occasionally and just go, "Ooh, isn't it beautiful?" and walk straight <laughs> out again. Or, "Ooh, I might just." Sit here on my cup of tea mm. for a while. They are, they're just absolutely exquisite. There's, yeah, and I think it's probably because I'm thinking about all those gilt mirrors and like the yeah. dark, rich green carpets. I, mean, I know it's had a massive revamp of late, but sort of old style, very luxurious settings. WGD P75. Five by six up to an eight by eight millimeter, seven ninety-five. Now we've got less than fifty of these now to allocate. So wow. stay on the phone lines and for those of you who are shopping in the repeat shows, the best of luck to you. These are stunning. They are absolutely stunning. They are pretty impressive, aren't they? For seven ninety-five. They are really, really, really impressive. Beautifully smooth. Stunning luster. Really breathtakingly elegant. Really breathtakingly elegant. Seven pounds and ninety-five pence. The code is WGDP75. Just, I think I might just have to do this. Do you want to give them a little kiss, or are you alright? No, I'm alright, thank you. You're right. <laughs> I knew he'd say that, so I gave him the get out. Yeah, Mike's just like. Not really, thank you. Apparently somebody did text in on Sunday when Ed was presenting saying that you also kiss your gemstones. Of course you do. Ed was presenting? Ed was presenting. Wow. Fee was due to be on air and had no voice, bless her. Oh. I'm going to uh, give her... I, keep, I wanted to call her yesterday, but she's on vocal rest. So uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll hopefully try and speak to her later, or at least send her a little text or yeah. something. Uh, yeah. It's pointless phoning somebody and just yeah. having a one-sided conversation. Well... It's funny if it's actually um, Ruth, because Ruth Lynette actually loses it. Ruth, one of the presenters here, one of my bestest friends in the whole wide world, uh, she loses her voice quite a lot. So she's got a little code and she goes, for yes, <laughs> for no. <laughs> I know, I know, and it's the way I have to communicate with her. So. Ingenuity. Ingenuity or just plain madness, plain yes. madness. So we're going to move on now. Before
before I set Max a kit, I'm going to just whiz through this. Uh, sorry, before I set you a challenge, Go I'm going to whiz through this kit. It's called Mysterious Moon. Now, because my glasses, well, I thought I was going. I thought I was looking at Mysterious Man because I had <laughs> my glasses need a really good clean. I looked over to the side. I was like, Mysterious Man, Mysterious Moon. It really has got an amazing quality to it. Do you want to have a look at the jewellery that's been made from it? You don't have to make this, just to give you some design ideas. But look at the quality of these. So let's look at the abalone shell in there. Look at that beautiful abalone shell. Beautiful. The black onyx playing round with the 8mm and the little pyrite little nuggets as well are stunning. So this is just a couple of design ideas that have been made from this kit. So with a kit, you can make, on average, around about six pieces of genuine gemstone, 925 stone and silver jewellery, sometimes up to eight or, or even more so. But look at these. Your abalone shell here is absolutely exquisite. Abalone, otherwise known as the power shell as well, and it's very big within... Um, well, it, it's the native gemstone of New Zealand. So, you know, if you're going to be making a piece of jewellery that's significant to somebody, if New Zealand is significant in their lives, then that could be a really lovely personal touch. Then you've also got these lovely little nuggets. They really, really work together, don't they? They do, uh, don't um, they? Yeah. It's all that different texture. It just... Yeah, and also the slight gold tones. I hadn't really noticed that about the abalone shell, but the pirate really sits very well with it. Looks a little bit like mermaid treasure. Yeah, sorry. Oh, I've always wanted to be a mermaid. Have you? Yeah. Except I'm terrified. I'm terrified of water. <laughs> that, that might be a disadvantage. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I became a TV presenter <laughs> instead. You can see the similarity. Indeed, yes, yeah. Both involve a lot of flapping around. <laughs> <laughs> So these black on explain rounds are they 8 mil and again just as Max has said about the pyrite drawing out the golden tones of the abalone it also just sort of emphasizes those naturally occurring patterns within the abalone shell as well from that black onyx isn't it So they all work really lovely together in this brilliant texture and it's just really lovely and the shapes and the sizes and that colour palette. You can make really exciting, quite exotic jewellery from this kit. And it'll still be quite subtle. I think it's a lovely kit to be able to make an impact, but it's not necessarily chunky jewellery to make that impact. It's still quite on a de delicate level. 28 pieces of 925 sterling silver also come in this kit. There's 10 head pins, 10... Oh! Now then, I think I've got the incorrect image for you, so just bear with me a second because you've got two shepherd hook, two pairs of shepherd hooks and two bot ring clasp and jump rings on this. So we'll show you that image in just a second. But you've also got 50 metres of the silver colour beading thread, 6 metres of the clear elastic, and then you've also got a large and a small organza gift bag. And I've said this before, but the organza gift bag... It's just got the handmade gemstone jewellery on the side, which means available for you to put all of your branding on. So we've got the silver image for you here. There we go. We've got 10 head pins, 10 quint beads, two pairs of shepherd hooks, and two bolt ring clasps and jump rings. Now, Max, it's a good opportunity to just talk about silver as you're here and yes. you being in the specialist field. But our kits include silver. Yes, they do. And they include... Um 95 silver so it's not silver plated it's solid silver and it's solid sterling silver which is you know the industry standard and to be honest last week or the week before i've just taken in about six years worth of scrap oh, and you've done it better yeah, we're saying yeah, it's time well, to stack know, up the wedding you know so we thought yeah might as well might as well cash it in now i mean the price is pretty consistent at the moment so um, and yeah, and all the little trimmings and the, the bits, you know, if you take the ball off a ball head pin or yep. if you trim your head pin shorter. Keep I mean, I had all. a little pot, uh, you know, and it just gradually builds up and I tipped all that in as well. So yeah, you do, you do eventually, you know, if you've been making jewellery for a long time, you know, or if you get through quite a volume of the, of the, of the um, sterling silver findings, you can trade in your scrap. So. Yeah, and then you can got more money to buy kits like Yay! this one. Let's bring in the price then for you. It's the Mysterious Moon. Ooh, Mysterious Moon. $21.95. I don't know why I had a little bit of a Peter. Well, I do know why I had a Peter Andre moment because I think he's amazing. You've got tickets to his concert. 
Oh, this was this was back in the day. Chloe had tickets to his concert and got tonsillitis. Couldn't oh. go. Oh. Twenty. But, I quite like to marry you weren't him. Singing. Why? Why did? Should have just gone. Should have just gone. Even though you felt oh, she was really poor, like. Oh. Should have oh, tonsils well. out. Okay, you're it was forgiving. So big. This is lovely. <laughs> This is a really lovely conversation. Tuesday £21.95. Pounds and 95 pence. That is a really stunning kit, an amazing value for money kit. 28 pieces of 95 sterling silver there. Okay, so, do you know what? This kit would work really nicely with some parts of the challenge that I'm going to give to Mags. Yes. I, just look at that. I really like those purple pearls in there. Like that. I like that. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, indeed. Actually, Actually all pearls. three of those in the, yeah, in the pearl. Yeah, well, that three strand pearl, pearl pack. pack. I'll show you that in just a sec, folks. So, right now, I'm going to set Max a challenge because he's really naughty if he hasn't got <laughs> something to do. Yep. Me, <laughs> he's not really, I don't know why I said that. Um, so, First of all, black labradorite will be involved in the challenge. Labradorite is an amazing phenomenon of gemstone. Amazing phenomenon of gemstone. So the labradorite is from the Labrador region of Canada and the phenomenon comes due to the labradorescence. It's a quality that is literally unique to labradorite, labradorescence. We've then got shiller qualities that can be applied to it, well, are, are seen on a number of different gemstones, moonstone being quite one of, one of the sort of main prevalent ones with, uh, with shiller. But let's have a look at these here. Now, labradorite, it's got this incredible labradorescence, it's got the shiller, and this is black labradorite, so we've got a completely different backdrop from your usual sort of silvery grey hues you'd expect to see. We've got this black backdrop, but look at the way the light plays off the surface of the gemstone. Amazing. Amazing. And this is just in the studio lights. Imagine what that's going to look like at home. You've got a 30 day money back guarantee on every single item that you purchase from Jewelry Maker. And it's only $4.95 to have everything sent to you from the whole day. Now, you could buy a thousand items from us today. And it's only $4.95 to have it all sent to you. Cool, hey? So you're looking at approximately 290 carats. They are 10 millimeter rounds. These, are, I mean, look at that. Can you see that gold and silver light at the base there on the gemstones? Can you see all that? Just really, really exquisite. GBQZ85. They're gorgeous, aren't they? They are. They're almost unworldly. Well, Labradorite is one of my very favourite gemstones, and along with Opal and oh, all of the ones that do the do the shiller. I like Tiger's Eye, but I much prefer the kind of the ghostly ethereal blues of Labradorite. So it's like Moonstone. Are you attracted? There you go, yeah, Moonstone. Moonstone. Thank you. Just suddenly, whoosh, <laughs> a gem blank in my head. Yeah, Moonstone and Labradorite are two of my very favourite gems to work with. So you're very much attracted to the shiller, the yes. surface luster working, and such a toyancy of tiger's yeah. eye, that sort of thing. Just just made an engagement ring with a large faceted moonstone uh, oh, as, as the centrepiece, wow. and it's just amazing. I love it. <laughs> Sorry, Kim, my producer's just gone, I want one. I want right. a faceted moonstone engagement ring. Fantastic. If, she's just said, if anyone would like to propose to her, do you know what, Kim? <laughs> they probably would, but they don't even know what you look like. They don't even know who you are because you never come on screen. She does exist, I promise you. Chloe, director Chloe, is now saying that maybe we should now start up a dating website for Jewelry Maker, get all the crew hooked up with various people, and get Max and Bella to make the engagement rings. Fantastic. Yeah, yes, sounds I see like a niche. A plan. I think that'll work. <laughs> Kim says she'd marry anyone if she has an engagement ring off you guys. Fantastic. Right. Um, Tell you what, we'll make you the ring. Anyone you up for, ma the for to, marrying to... Kim? You can just keep it. So, oh, it's all right. Go on, go on, ask me. Ask me. Yeah, I've already got one. There you go. <laughs> Here it is. Oh, dear. GBQ. Z85 is the code. They're absolutely exquisite and they're only they're £7.95. pence. Let's have a look and get perspective how many beads we're getting here because I know a lot of us are used to buying per bead. 
But look at the sheer volume. Also, it's the, the black Labradorite. It's really, you know, it, it's different. It's really different. I'm, as you said, I'm used to seeing the very pale grey stuff. And this is quite striking, really. You go, what is that? It's amazing. It's got that, yeah, it? that kind of alluring quality of, of the Labradorite. I don't hello. think you can compare it to anything else. No. Possibly, and see if you think uh, you agree with me here, possibly along the really rich snowflake obsidian mark, but then with labradorescence on yeah. it and then sort of a bit of a, a blurry of, of the colours as well. Just, just me. Yeah. Here you're knocking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, coming in. Seven pounds and five pence on those so max will be using this strand in today's challenge right fantastic then, i'm coming over and we're setting the rest of your challenge Wicked. okay so along i'm not attached to my chair today that's amazing so oh look at that's kind of coordinated i've only just yes there you go i know chloe should say i always do this with the guests it's like i phoned them up but i haven't <laughs> all right max what are you wearing <laughs> good i had to go home and get changed <laughs> can you imagine i'd love it <laughs> Now then, now then, now then. So we know that we've got this Labradorite in Fantastic. the challenge that's today. That's safe, that's safe. That's safe. I'm doing my gym bowing. You keep that. Would you like to gamble? Would you like to gamble? You don't have to gamble. You keep it, it's all safe. Carry on, I like it. No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Coffee's back. on his way. <laughs> Now, alongside that, we're going to look back to this three strand pack of pearls, all of which would look amazing with the mysterious moon. Oh, mysterious moon. Get, get in. No. I am going to look like Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Stevie. Only without the talent. Oh, uh, dear. Yeah. Have a look at these. Oh, Peter Andre can sing. <gasps> he can if you've not heard him when he's doing his opera warm ups. Oh, I think he's lovely. I know I've, I've talked to, I think he is my, yeah, I think he's... My husband really likes Cat Dealey and I really like Peter Andre. We're, we're just allowed those one black person each, that's it. <laughs> You've got these gorgeous, gorgeous pearls. They are almost perfect rounds, these purple pearls. They are amazing, aren't they? They are absolutely exquisite. Have we got sizes on these, please, Kim? Okay, we're looking at approximately uh, nine millimetres on these, approximately seven millimetres on these, and approximately five millimetres on these. So five, seven, eight on those eight yeah about an eight on those they are absolutely gorgeous now these are real pearls once again they're just so they're incredibly perfect the luster off those are beautiful and they are a potato pearl what are they everybody potato thank you but to be honest even though they've been classified as potato they're almost perfect rounds aren't they now if they were classified as a perfect round you would be paying whew, through the roof because that's how pearls sort of establish their value and establish their price point. These are uh, freshwater culture pearls. You've got three strands at 38 centimetres each length. They're absolutely beautiful and the code is JTMG93. Now the code JTMG93 needs to be popped into the internet now if you're uh, shopping online. And then also you can call up and say that you're just wanting the pearls that are on screen right now. Or uh, indeed use the code JTMG93. They are beautiful. Max is going to be using these in his challenge. So grab them now. You can get inspiration Lovely. of how he uses them throughout the show. Here we go. Just having a think. Hmm. Hmm. 11 95 Hmm. <laughs> hmm. 11 for all three strands. That is incredible value for money. That's going to look absolutely amazing. Do you know what? With that first kit, they'd look absolutely stunning. Indeed. JTM G93. 11.95. Gorgeous. Okay, so. Chloe just told me she fancies Matt Murray. Who's Matt Murray? She's like, no, don't tell everyone. 
Does he work here? Does oh, he yeah, there? yeah, yeah. I do know it is now. He's a footballer, isn't he? Yeah. Can I tell everybody what happened then? Can I, te can I tell them what happened? OK, so uh, this is just going off the, uh, to a side because obviously we, we stay focused all the time here at Jewelry Maker. If you're wanting sort of your typical shopping telly experience, just, yeah, fast forward bits. <laughs> so we're just talking about Chloe in my area, just saying that she really fancies Matt Murray. Matt Murray is a footballer and on her wedding day, I would remember, however, there was a little bit of alcohol consumed at that occasion by me. Um, it lay sort of around, was it just after we'd eaten? Yeah, during the speech, that was it. It's during the speeches, um, a big <laughs> video came up and Matt Murray sent Chloe a video message to wish her luck. And she was just, that was on her wedding day. The guy she really fancies, her husband, <laughs> knew about this and organised a video message to be sent to her on her wedding day. Anyway, moving on. Fabulous, fascinating story. These are beautiful quartz. Nash. Aren't they? Aren't they just? Are they mystic quartz? These are, yeah, they're the mystic quartz of this sort of, rather than the rainbow qualities, this is a mystic grey quartz. So again, yeah, just look at that the with the Labradorite. Labradorite. Yeah. Oh, that is <gasps> sultry. Oh, yeah, oh. That's, well, there you go, that's my job done. <clears throat> is that but, what you're going to put together? Yeah, definitely, absolutely. So this is Labradorite and that's a silver shell, uh, sorry, that's the silver pearl, pearl pack that we've just shown to you. Get your teeth in, Lucy. So this is Mystic Grey Quartz. Again, they're 10mm round, so the same size as the Labradorite. The way the light, again, plays off these, you have got this mystical quality to them. But look at the clarity of this quartz as well. These are amazing, they're real gemstones. They, these are from the earth. They've been mined for you and cut. Look at the clarity of those. It is amazing, isn't it? Good quality quartz. It's fantastic. Really good quality. I'd, I'd be quite nice to, to um, behold. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It'd be quite nice to um, maybe try out different coloured threads in there. Oh, what are you doing? You're psychically stealing my thoughts. I was like, as soon as I saw it, I, I did cheat this morning and I had a look at see what my challenge was. And I thought, oh, I might put a different coloured thread through there. <laughs> are you psychically stealing my thoughts? <laughs> no, I'm not. Obviously, I'm just a little bit um, in tune with the designing world. I need to be because I'm going to be guest designer at some point. <gasps> really, truly? Yeah. I've been challenged. Yeah, I'm we know terrified. that. But... And bop you one, but that's not good for telly. So, that Labradorite and back that in the Mystic Quartz highlights. So... <laughs> the reason you would make a guest shut down. <laughs> Scrap on telly, presenter, guest designer was stealing my thoughts. They are absolutely gorgeous. So they're Mystic Grey Quartz. They're 10 millimetre rounds. They're only £8.95. Jump wow. on the phone lines and claim those well. You might as well add them onto your order. They have got a wow factor. They do. Now, the negative about getting these is if we don't, get, you're going to get addicted to using them. Mm. So we might not always have these in stock. So if you are interested in them, I would say get quite a lot of those strands if you can. Because they are one of those gemstones that create Big focal points. Can you imagine if bead a bead with those? Can you imagine as a big, chunky, maybe really long style necklace, maybe even a lariat necklace with a big, chunky bead a bead on with those? Be absolutely stunning. Eight pounds and ninety-five pence. It's a full thirty-eight centimetre strand. And then finally, going down a different route, we bring in this lapis lazuli. Now, lapis lazuli is a, t a gemstone that really dates back to the time of antiquity very much in the forefront of Egyptian history where it's talking about jewels and wealth and sort of the level of, um, well, for example, Cleopatra, I know we've talked about mm. it before, but wore this gemstone ground down as eyeshadow. I mean, it must have taken months, if not years, to do so. But how indulgent is that? That amazing electric blue, midnight blue, and then as you get closer, you can see the pyrite properties, almost like little stars. Now, apparently there was a live stargazing um, television programme last night. Was there? Yeah. Did you see any of it, Ollie? Uh, no. No, I've... 
Oh, is it Professor Brian Cox? He's brilliant, isn't he? And yeah, so I just just made me think about it when I saw that, and it just looks like an amazing sky with the most incredible stars. Beautiful. IHG P53 is the code on this amazing lapis lazuli. Are you ready? They're only £8.95, and, and that's going to bring in a different dimension again, being the it pillow is, shape, isn't indeed. it? Indeed. I'm just having to think about what I could do with that. I've got a few ideas. Yeah? Yes, perhaps. I won't give you any of my ideas, just in case no, I get accused yeah, of stealing them out of your more head. My ideas. They're really good. Just, let's just recap. We've uh, got for the challenge today for Mags there's the lapis. These the Mystic Grey Quartz, that amazing Labradorite. We've got lots of stock of that available, so grab it while you can. And that three-strand pack of pearls. It's a gorgeous challenge. Initial thoughts? Obviously, we know. Maybe a different colour thread through the Mystic Quartz. <laughs> Maybe a pair of earrings. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Max is known for starting off with a pair of earrings, so at least he's got something made. Yeah, that's exactly why I do it. <laughs> I, I give you excuses, but it's about see how the gems sit together and play with the palette nice. So I did get get my writer's block out of the way and just make something. Do it! Do it now, monkey boy! <laughs> so, any ideas then? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was, actually, to be honest, I was thinking about maybe um, putting these at the top of a pair of dangly earrings, the, the, the lapis at the top of a pair of dangly oh. earrings, but not making it solid, actually um, running coloured threads through it and perhaps tying... You'll see what I mean. I mean, tying them off, uh, making them uh, uh, about yay long. But that's, that, in, uh, in metric yay, that's, that's that, that. <laughs> about 10 <laughs> centimetres maybe. I'll see what I've got. Yay long. About yay long, yeah. Yay long, 10 centimetres. Just, just brushing the shoulders as you, as you turn your head. Sorry, no one could see that. I was, I was actually using yay it long. as camouflage. Just so yay can... long, just so that they can get touchy shoulders. <laughs> we'll look forward to catching up with Mags later in the show with his challenge, and we'll look forward to seeing those earrings. Thank you okay. for being here, Mags. It's You're always an it's honour and a to pleasure back. to uh, be here. Well, it's good to have you, Mags. Uh, Happy New Year to everyone, and uh, oh, of course, Gong Hei Fat Choi yeah. for next week as well. So. Pardon? Gong Hei Fat Choi. Uh, it's Chinese New <gasps> yes, Year. Chinese. Year of the Dragon! Thick. Wow, so, wow. Success and prosperity to everybody. Thank you. Fab, fab. Um, I didn't know that you lived in Hong Kong for two and a half years. <gasps> oh, how exciting. You see, Chloe's a lot more interesting wow. than she looks. I lived there for eight <laughs> months. You've, you've certainly beaten me. Impressive. Right. I've got a Lucy special here for you. Hello. So I'm just doing some desk tidying for you. There you go. Sorry. It's all right. Have a look at this. Excuse me. There's something about this that just makes me think caramel, toffee, cream. Oh, just this really. It's almost like sort of a, you know, when you. Cappuccino or an Irish coffee, you know, when the cream just starts to separate. Oh. Look at these. The different hues of those browns. Now we've got a great price on these for you. But there's something the reason I chose these for my special is because they look so different. These look so 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 different. And then than anything else right we've just had a price reduction on them for you they were going to be 9.95 we're taking the price lower we are taking the price lower this is first come first serve this is the lucy special involving a price reduction okay so the original price was 9.95 forget that today this is 190 carats and the code is gjt 
A21. You're looking at approximately 38 centimetres on the length of this one, and they're measuring 12 by 17 millimetres each. Really fabulous sizes. They're smooth. You've got this beautiful golden tone to them. How about mixing in? Later on, we've got the manager special coming in. And, you know, we've got these big rondelles in the manager special. There's something lovely about the tonal quality of those two together. As well as those, we've got some beautiful pearls on their way a little bit later on as well. And because they are the agate, they're just destined to go with a lot of different agates that we have in stock and that perhaps you've already got at home. The way that they worked in terms of the, the colour um, color ways that have been brought to our attention there, the way that they have these sort of individual markings. Have a look at this one for me. That looks just like, it looks like a piece of artwork. There's something about that that really reminds me of a sepia newspaper print. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely exquisite. We've actually got some Druzy going on in some of these as well. Now that will be incidental and haphazard, so I can't guarantee yours will have Druzy in. But the Druzy is is present in a lot of the agate we feature, and you uh, we happen to have one in the piece that you've got here. Genuine gemstones. That's the beauty of them. No two are ever going to be the same because it's Mother Nature. It's not a machine. They're not sort of churned out in all in one go. This is Mother Nature provides us, and what we get is what we get. So, they were originally £9.95. I said, do yourself a favour with these. Go down a route that perhaps you've not gone down before. Maybe this is outside of what you'd usually gravitate towards for the beads that you choose to use. But they are unique, they are individual, they have got this gorgeous colourway to them. There's 190 carats of them. They're measuring 12 by 17 millimetres. They're going to be beautiful for using perhaps in um, some lovely gizmo bracelets, maybe using the antique bronze colour of wire with these, maybe using the chocolate brown leather cords you know there's lots of scope within the chocolate browns or even going completely the opposite way and looking at a really beautiful ivory white pearl. right we've got less than 100 of these now in stock ready to allocate we've got less than 90 to allocate they're going quickly we've now got less than 80 to allocate goodness me djt 821 let's get the price in for you 12 by 17 millimeters each and they're seven pounds and 95 pence they're affordable they're gorgeous they're going to give you a different dimension to your jewelry making and it's only one post and packaging price for all of your purchases over the whole weekend now indulge in today's show take in all the surroundings because tomorrow I can't tell you what's happening, but it's going to be exciting. DJT A21. Good luck, everybody. Now, coming up for you. In fact, before we carry on to this next, our first kit, Kim, have we had any text messages in yet? For Brilliant! Do you know what we'll do as soon as we come back through it from the break? I'm going to, in fact, sh let's, should we have a look at the image now? Okay. What we've got going on is a little bit of um, a competition. We can't show the text messages that have come in because they hold customer numbers on them. Ed's down in the gallery now. We're going to start looking through all the texts that have been sent in so far. I'll tell you some of the suggestions. We've got our second kit. I didn't like the name of it. Diva. I didn't, didn't like the name of the second kit. So here it is. What we're doing is we're running a little bit of a competition during the live show today and we want you to name this kit. We want you to name this kit. Now, the, the uh, name that is chosen... Oh, oh, I'm liking some of these suggestions. I'll tell you in just a second. The person who we choose will have a um, will have a bead scoop sent to them for free for winning. So it's the person who names that kit. We've, so far, suggestions have got... Marshmallow and, what was that, sorry? Marshmallow and treacle, I like that. Oriental Express, Rock Pool, Marble Marble. City Kit. Midnight, what, sorry? Midnight Snowstorm, oh, I like that one. Nation Delight. Lotus Blossom. Pardon? Devil. Oh, 
Oh, DeVille in disguise as in Cruella DeVille. Oh, do you know what? They're all coming through. Ed's down here at the moment. He's eating a banana, looking through your text. Uh, Chloe's got one as well. Pre. <laughs> She's such a loser. Because it looks like pre night, she's going to call it pre night. Would that be done Boom. just evening? Boom. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's not go into the whole dinner or tea uh, conflab that we discussed the other day. Thanks for being with us. Hope you're enjoying the show. We'll see you for your foil. So keep those text messages coming in. 60777. It's just a bit of fun, but for the uh, name we do choose, you'll be sent a bead scoop to thank you for your time. Have a look at that kit once again. It's absolutely stunning. We're going to be doing it as our second brand new kit of the day. And it's up to you as our fabulous viewers to decide the name. It's your kit. You can decide the name of it. You can text in JM Studio to 60777 and the name. But make sure you've got your customer number on it. Now, it's all about brand new kits today. And my goodness, if you are wanting some real explosion of fabulousness, Showboat is next. Add to your collection with our Beading Basics DVD, which introduces you to some simple but effective beading techniques. Join some familiar faces as you follow our guest designers through their easy step-by-step -step tutorials. You'll be shown techniques such as the woven leaf pendant, the three-strand weave, and many more. To get your hands on a copy, phone our call center on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Want to learn about silver clay? Well now you can with our Introduction to Silver Clay Workshop. Run by Natalia Coleman, a professional art clay silver instructor, you will be guided through the techniques handling, shaping, forming and firing pieces of silver clay jewellery. Then, design and create your own jewellery, which you can take home. Tour the studios, meet the presenters, all of this for just £89. The workshop price includes 20 grams of art clay silver, use of all tools, refreshments and lunch. For more information, call our friendly call centre on 0800 644 655. This six-strand bead box features onyx, carnelian, agate and snowflake obsidian, totalling over 1,000 carats and all for just $19.95. This box is full of everything you'll need to create some wonderful designs. To get your hands on this great offer, phone our call centre now on 0800 644 655 and quote the code NGP031. Jewellery Maker. Bringing out the designer in you. Even though this is called Showboat, there's something about it that again reminds me of uh, when we were talking about sunsets the other day. Cause the sunsets that we're um, seeing at the moment, have you seen them of late? At night, they've been amazing. Pitch black sky and this amazing big orange sun. That for me again is really sort of embellished and and, um, and encaptured, I should say, within this, uh, within this kit. It's all about this strand is all about these babies. They are big, they're amazing, they're designer, they're bold, they're statement. Look at those there, they're absolutely exquisite. I'm gonna show you first of all though, the other two strands just to begin with. The first of which is this absolutely gorgeous, I don't think I've seen Lava Rock of this ages. Now Lava Rock is brilliant because it's incredibly lightweight to use. And this, I mean, it's just, it's so smooth. It is so, 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 so smooth. I'm going to let you into a little secret. Kim, who is now producing, when she's on floor and she, when we used to have the original Lava Rock in, she couldn't touch it. It was hilarious considering her job was to set up the kits. She can touch this one now. Because it, to say the other wasn't anything, it was fabulous. But this is completely smooth. So if you've tried Lava Rock before and you didn't like the texture of it, this just feels, it feels like a really smooth bead. Really, 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 really smooth. 
Now, I would just recommend though, with the lava rock, it's dyed using a powder dye. Therefore, if you, um, when you get it home, if you just rinse it through with some lukewarm water, it will remove any of the powder dye that's remaining. It won't affect the colour at all, but just in case there's any just stuck into the little crevices there. It's just a precautionary thing. And then you can just pop it on the, uh, the radiator to dry out and it'll be dry in moments. Okay, so that's your lava rock and they are six millimetre rounds. And the beauty of having this lava rock is look at the texture that you're going to get into your jewellery. It's fab, isn't it? And then, do you know what? I think these would look really lovely with those pyrite little um, nuggets that we had in the Mysterious Moon kit as well. Now, look at this. This is a stunning sponge coral. The beauty of your sponge coral is that it absorbs colour when it goes through a dyeing process in a really fabulous way. It really draws out the natural patterns that you have. Gorgeous. I just love that. I really, there's there's something very spicy, paprika about it, isn't there? There's um, it's almost like you can imagine this hot colour. In it makes me think of Mexico, actually. I, I just absolutely love that sort of flame-like quality. It's that, yeah, that hot paprika essence. You're also going to get 50 metres of the silver colour beading thread, which is stainless steel but silver colour. It's a 0.38. You're 6 uh, metres of clear elastic. And then there's also 20 metres of the monofilament. OK, with the little lid there. I'm just going to put that little sticker on like that. There we go. So 20 metres of monofilament, it's a 0.25 millimetre uh, gauge on that. So that's what you've got there. You've then got 25 pieces of 925 sterling silver. So you've got 10 head pins, 10 crimp beads, so actually 25 components which works out, if you list it like we've done other items, that's 30 pieces of 925 sterling silver, 10 head pins, 10 crimp beads, 2 pairs of shepherd hooks and 3 bolt ring class and jump rings and they are all solid 925 sterling silver. You've then got a large and a small organza gift bag for you to either be giving your jewellery that you make as gifts or just storing it for yourself or selling it. But then I'd like to stop the music please. Are oh, typically just as I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Naughty Ollie, I just bit my tongue when I did that as well. Chloe, director Chloe, took the shot, so use the camera too to to do a close up on the jewellery um, on the bead, so you won't see me sneeze. And then Ollie whipped it up, so you saw my face. Bad Ollie. Naughty. <laughs> Little minx. I'll get him back. He doesn't know you see. I've got a tally under the desk. It's a little, no, that's it. Another little notch there. Get him back. Right. You know that you've got all of that silver, all um, of the beading thread, the clear elastic, and the monofilament. But it's all about these. We love these. And Claire, who's also on cameras for us, who was over there just a second ago. Oh, she's there. Hello, because she's wearing black. I couldn't see her against the black background. She just, she just went, I love those. These have got the most amazing quality to them. They are, these are 18 millimetre rounds and they are... Look at the different patterns that you've got. It really brings in that sort of whole animal print look and the sort of snakeskin feel and the mock croc look that's really big within the fashion industry. These are huge. These are really, really huge. ABG P78. Now on each of these, there's 128 facets done by hand and the same on the coral as well. That is faceted sponge coral. We don't often see sponge coral faceted, do we? They are amazing. Every single one slightly different. Now it is a really high end kit. Size of this agate. Each of these pieces, I mean, what would you be happy to pay in a bead shop knowing they're real agate? They're huge, they're huge. They're absolutely huge. They're impressive. They're amazing in their colour. And look at the look at the sparkle. It's 
sorry, that went really high pitch then for all of your dogs that were irritated by my voice just then. A, B, G, P, seven, eight. Right, it's going so quickly. We're gonna have to be quick off the mark on this one. So it's lava rock, sponge coral and agate and they are huge. 50 meters of beading thread, six meters of elastic. You've got 20 meters of the monofilament, a large and small organza gift bag. All of that 925 selling silver and it's 24.95 for the lot. We're gonna go over to Max and see what he's done with this kit. We're well, very excited because the colors are scrum diddly umptious. What are they, Claire? Scrum diddly umptious. Scrum diddly umptious. Claire, where are you from originally? Redditch. Redditch? Yeah. You've got a right northern twang sometimes. Because the only accent she can do. <laughs> Scrum diddly umptious. So, Max, Hello. you worked on this kit all by yourself. <clears throat> no help uh, from Bella. Actually, I, I'm, I'm lying there because Bella did the chain links. Oh, OK. They are lovely. They're really lovely. So, can I just ask, have you yeah. used anything outside of the kit? No. That damns so, the rules. Everything that you see here, absolutely everything, is from the kit. There's been yep. no extra accessories at all. None Would you whatsoever. like to talk us through, please? OK. Um, it looks amazing. But basically, with the, the large faceted agate, you, you can, as I normally do, separate things out into um, colour gradients or size gradients, depending on uh, how, how it goes. And this has definitely got a colour gradient from the very uh, monochrome type ones, which are yeah. just used a stretchy here with, hang on, let's see which camera we're on. It's just a stretchy with the, the lava rock and then the black and white agate, the more black and white agate. And, and then that left the more reddish ones. Like also, um, when, when you get, when you get a kit, that. you can pick out matched pairs. And so I picked out the, the, um, the brightest reddest ones to be a pair of earrings. They're lovely. And then this pattern here, I chose to kind of echo that and make a, a once again, the, the earrings came first and then the rest of the jewelry set came after it. So this necklace and this bracelet uh, I designed to match the, and that's just a simple bolt ring clasp. And bracelet and necklace. And just that, la the lava rock. I mean, I'm looking at that other bracelet you've yep. done there as well. There you go. The lava rock and the sponge coal. How pretty it is, is that? It is really, really good. And also, this, I mean, the, the lava rock and the sponge coral, they quite lend themselves to um, gents' jewellery as well. I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't uh, be, I wouldn't hesitate to wear that. That's really nice, you know, a bit of colour. Whereas I, I do tend to be quite monochrome or just, just plain silver in my jewellery selections. Oh, sorry, we're putting that out of shot. And so you've used the bolt ring clasp yep, and jump just ring simple. and the head and the crimp beads on that one. Yep. And then the shepherd's hooks here. So you must have another yep. pair of shepherd hooks as well that you didn't even get around to using. Nope, so exactly. But fabs, I did, so even but silver we did left over. use yeah, but we did use up all of the head pins to make these little loop. The little uh, links. Loop links. Yeah, so. And that's interesting. So on each head pin, you've been able to get two lava rock and the sponge coral. Yes. And then. Gives you perspective of size, doesn't it? And so we've got uh, 10 of those from the 10 head pins. And then, well, actually, nine of them because. Oh, hang on. Stop. Because we've got, we used up two here for the earrings, then one to be the pendant, to see the matching pendant. And then uh, the rest yeah, of yeah, them. Yeah used to make the the links Ooh, I love chain. what you've done with this kit. Thank you. It's really simple. Yeah. I mean it's, it is and then repeat this is on the jewelry wire but repeat the pattern. So it's kind of an inverted version of the first pattern. You see that that's gone um, lava coral lava and then this goes coral lava coral. So it's just a little bit of uh, a little bit of variation there. Very fab and using another of the bolt ring clasp and yep. jump rings there because this cast. kit you get three that gives you a lot of scope you get three bolt ring clasps and you jump do. rings so also I having, just having said that you're wearing a wedding ring yes yeah <laughs> this is the this is the what is going to adapt this every every year we're going to add a little bit more on so when we renew our vows so yeah which is oh. traditional year and a day and then you renew your vows Mm. Every year you get to renew your vows. Yes, indeed. It's just an excuse for a party. Can you have a word with Drew? Come on, Drew, get your act together. 
Who's watching now? Right, so what technique are you going to show to us? Um, I, I don't mind. I mean, I, I think the probably making chain links, it's, re it's really easy stuff. I mean, other than... I just know that we've got a lot of people new watching all the time who just need to pick up on it. Yeah, so. other than um, crimping a, a crimp bead, there isn't that much to show in, in, in this kit. Which just goes to show the beauty of the gemstones. You don't... Yeah. So if you're starting out, this is going to be a great kit for you because this it is, is all designer jewellery. Yep. And yet, really basic <laughs> design, no jewellery. And yet, the techniques are really quite basic. They are. They're not. So would you like nothing to buy one here that's already open? And we'll swap. Okay. I'll have that to there demo with. There you are. Here we I'll, are. Um, just move Probably on. Probably should have opened from... this earlier and got myself ready. But yeah, I was but we were too excited with... talking about your wedding. I know, and I, was, I just got onto the challenge kit challenge thing. So here we go. I'll just make a, a couple of these so that you can see how to do it, and then. Pretty sure you can find a, a crimp bead tutorial somewhere on the website. Yeah, and they also come included on your um, in the free DVD that you get with your first purchase. So here we go. So get one of your head pins. Uh, tools that you'll require for this are some snippy snippers, and actually I'll put these back and use the the regulation ones. From your, uh, the from regulation your... ones. We have uh, tools which are red from the large toolkit and pink from the small toolkit. Oh, can I use these? Yeah, ones? Of course you can. All right, cool. I thought somebody brought their own tools in. Nope. Naughty. They're not naughty. So there you, there you go. I'm a, where am I doing this? Am I doing it over the mat? There we go. So here's the, the ball head pin, and just look, put a finger there to stop it from pinging across the room. Keep that. Stick that in a little pot. In about eight years, you'll. <laughs> You'll, you'll have enough to, to trade in. The, the, thing, the thing with loose silver like that is they, they do what's called a melt and assay. So you usually, you, usually, you usually have to have about a kilo of unhallmarked silver in order to qualify for a melt and assay, which means they, they take it, they melt it down, and then it goes to the assay office and they tell you that it's real silver. And you go, I knew that. And so yeah, but we didn't. So there you go. So, Taken the head off my head, head pin, stuck my beads on in whatever order you want to, and then go from one end. You could, to make life easier on yourself, put all your beads on with the head on and then cut the head off after you've put a loop on. So I put a loop on one end, and turn it round, and grab with my round pliers, and make a loop on this end. There you go. And we have a double loop link. Yeah, you so you've got a loop on each end. And then if you make another one, you can just link them together and make chains. So there you go. Do you want me to make another one? Or are you happy with that? Here you go. So once again, this is for this is the fiddly version of it. So if you don't want to be messing around with dropping your 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 head pin, there's your head pin. Put your beads onto it first. Just so you got the the head of the head pin to work with. There you go. So the head of the hairpin will keep the beads on while you're making your loop on the other end. Oh, make, okay, yeah. Make your loop on the other end, and that's just by twisting it around, and I put my thumbnail there, and I kink it against the thumbnail, so you get a nice centrally placed loop. You could, if you want, make twist loops. They're, um, they're stronger, because they're, they're wrapped around. You'd be using up more of the silver, though, wouldn't you? So you would. be able to fit as many of the beads on. Exactly, uh, and then when now now you've got that loop that you've made, it, the beads don't drop off. Put your finger on to stop it pinging out elsewhere. Grab hold, loop it round, tuck that in. I'm trying to do this f so that you can see it, and I've missed the end. I put my finger in the way anyway. There you go. So bring that round, and you've got a nice little loop there. And then if you want to connect these, that's a little bit extra in that one. So bring that round. Just open it by kinking away from you. Put the loop together. And then using my other tool, which is the flat pliers, grab hold, and close your link. And there you go. And just keep doing that until you've got as many links as you want. Fab, well, thank you very much. Thank you. No problem. Um, Easy. Just, yeah, simple techniques with that kit. 
will wow factor it's going quickly grab it while you can right now we're going to go as always to your designs for the wall of fate Number 136 from Alicia. Well done, Alicia. There you go. Whipping tree. <laughs> Should we bring it? I don't think we saw that. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Wow. Oh. Little twisty cluster thing at the bottom. Gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, 137. Um, this one. Oh, I love that. It's from Leslie. Malachi, I haven't seen that for ages. That's gorgeous, Leslie. Well done, hun. Another one here. Oh, wow. Tell you, check out the framing for the picture of that one. Oh, you're this Nate and Fab. Number 139 from 139. That's from John. Congratulations, John. Up in Newcastle, Pontine. And then we've got this one is from Leslie, and it's 138. And it's a, a hobby and a business for Leslie. So well done, Hunt. That's lovely, really lovely. 138. We'll come to some more of those a little later in the show. I'll leave you to carry on with your challenge now. Thank you. And uh, we'll pop over here with me cup of tea. Thanks, Karen. And just have a good gander through once again of this. Right, how are we doing on stock levels there, Kim? Okay, how many do we start with? Ooh, golly, right. Okay, less than half stock still available for you. So Grab it while you can because we've got the repeat shows. If you're watching the repeat show, jump on the phone lines or add it onto your order if you're shopping on the website. And you've got here the sponge coral, the lava rock, these amazing agate. They are seriously stunning. You've got a real wow factor with those. 25 pieces of 925 sterling silver, or 25 components giving you 30 pieces of 925 sterling silver, 10 head pins, 10 crimp beads, 2 pairs of shepherd hooks and 3 bolt ring clasps and jump rings. You've got 50 metres of beading thread, 6 metres of elastic, a large and smaller Ganza gift bag and 20 metres of the monofilament. All for 24.95. It's a bargain! What is it Claire? We'll see you for absolutely loads more and including we've got that brand new second kit coming up for you and we'll find out the winner of that. You can keep texting in in the meantime. You can keep texting in the names of the second kit until 11 o'clock. All of you are in with a chance and the name that is chosen, if it's you who's decided the winning name of our second kit, you will receive a free feed scoop. Ollie. Do we have that image of the second kit to hand there, please, my lovely? Or should we do it after a little break? We'll do it after the break. Our first image back will be our second brand new kit. We'd like you to text in to 60777, start your text message with JM Studio, name the kit. The winner of naming the kit will be sent a free bead scoop. On the other side of a quick break, however, it's another fantastic new offer. This bead box consists of six strands of genuine pearls, including bronze, peach, pink and white pearls, all for just $34.95. Bring a touch of class to your designs. To get your hands on this great offer, phone our call centre now on 0800 644 655 and quote the code ETMG80. Jewellery Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Jewelry Maker are proud to present our new range of Lisa Pavelka border moulds. Make incredible polymer and silver clay border designs to embellish your creations quickly and easily. Each mould contains four different borders which give a wide range of textures and patterns. Use alongside our crafting foils and textured stamps to add a different dimension to your clay creation. To view a full range of Lisa Pavelka products, visit our website. Jewelry Maker presents Pearl Gift Sets. These fine sets come with 16 pearls, over a meter of waxed cord, and available in a variety of different colors at only £7.95 each. To order, just dial the number on your screen and quote the code of the color you would like to receive, 
It's that simple. As an addition, for £4.95, why not get the Macrame Tutorial DVD? It's full of handy tips and will have you crafting intricate designs in no time. Pearl Gift Sets from Jewellery Maker, bringing out the designer in you. I think there's something about that kit that's reminding me of peppermint creams. Do you remember peppermint creams? I remember that I made them on a school play, like um, a summer, what's it called, play scheme. And I took them home, my mum won't let me eat them because we hadn't washed our hands and loads of different children had been making them. <laughs> she was like, hi Jean Lucy, you don't know what, <laughs> don't wash their hands. Oh, that's cute. Oh, oh, Ollie was saying Ollie had um, a homemade Christmas, a handmade Christmas this year. That's been a really popular thing to do actually this year, just gone. So everybody has to hand make their, uh, their presents to each other. And he was saying, was it your little cousin, did you say? Little cousin made peppermint creams. And yeah, that's something very, oh, I could do a peppermint cream. Could you do a peppermint cream right now? Hmm. Hmm. Karen, you're not busy, are you? We'll put up some peppermint cream. I'm joking, she's so busy. <laughs> Could do with some peppermint creams. Oh, uh, with the cocktail sausages yesterday and peppermint creams today, we're practically turning into a cookery show. Okay, I've got two Lucy specials. Do you? Kim's saying that she's a big fan of the cookery shows. I've got really into the British Bake Off. Have you been watching any of it, Max? I don't have a telly, so... Oh, no. I'm sorry, I've asked you things like that before and then I forget. That's, that's all right. But, um, yeah, the Great British choice. Bake it's Off. Not, not that I can't it's afford a, it. <laughs> it's, um, yeah. It is, isn't it? Did you? Ollie made a Madeira cake the other day. That's his favourite cake. A choc chip Madeira cake. You don't really Ooh. like chocolate, though. Oh, but his wife does. Oh, I know, we're fascinating here at Jewel Maker. Let's move on to the gemstones. <laughs> so, we've got two, two Lucy specials here for you that are, are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful products. So, you've got this very delicate, light, but still, um, it's a blue with integrity. And this is Chalcedonia, very sought after gemstone, very beautiful. Um, a gemstone that you've got these beautiful puffy rectangles, which are measuring 12 by eight millimeters each. And there's 130 carats in each strand. It's a gemstone that you'll find will go with so many things. Particularly, I just adore that. And can you imagine that with some pearls in there as well? Wow. Delicate, dainty, huge. Then at the same time, some of the blue banded agate that we've got has got this very delicate pale blue running through it as well. And I would say, you know, with that delicate pale hue of the blue agate, it could be really drawn out with these. At the same time, they could look amazing with some blue lace agate. I'm really sort of breaking it up. There's, there's a very delicate nature to these. There's, you know, sort of a baby blue, isn't it? A really sort of powdery blue. It's ever so pretty and it's ever so smooth and it feels so, so cool against the skin tone as well. That's because it's genuine gemstones. You're going to get a quality from these that you won't be able to get, for example, from a blue plastic bead. Okay, so I'll pop these against my neckline for you. They're ever so pretty. <gasps> what about those little stardust rondelles that we've had? GHG P73. I'm also thinking about some of the other kits that we've had as well and coming up. This is going to be a really pretty strand. The thing for me about Chalcedony is that I will gravitate towards this for a pale blue gemstone because it's my gemstone of choice for that. I think my other one would be blue lace agate, which you can be paying a lot a lot a lot of money for because it's the the banding on it is completely symmetrical so for a pale blue gemstone i always go for this one always 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 
I don't think there's anything other else like it. Whereas, you know, we can get Sardonyx, which is jet black, we can get jet, we can get black, um, you can get the black onyx, you can get black agate for a black gemstone. With your pink gemstones, again, you can go through a spectrum. I don't think there's anything else that quite compares to this. And it is stunning. It's really stunning. So the code is GHG P73. Could actually work quite nicely with the second kit that we've got coming up that we still don't know the name for. We're yet to decide. 130 carats of blue chalcedony. They're 12 by 8 millimetres each. Good luck to every single one of you. Here we go. This is a Lucy special for you today at £7.95. A gemstone strand that has been chosen for you to be a special, just to highlight the fact that it is so beautiful and the price on that is exceptionally low. Oh, 0800 644 655 GHG P73. Like little fluffy clouds. <gasps> Do you remember that? That song Ew. in the little fluffy clouds. Little fluffy clouds. Little fluffy clouds. No. You won't, Kim. You won't even thought about. Never mind, born. <laughs> It's only four. Seven pounds and 95 pence on that 38 centimetre strand of blue, beautiful, baby blue Chalcedony. Okay, we're now going to move on to the rose quartz. And this rose quartz is really precisely, it, it's beautiful, 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 beautiful in its colour. And it's faceted in a really, really, really stunning way. We've got quite a lot of people there on the phone lines at the moment. If you hit a queue at any point, just so you know, it's a free phone number if you call off a landline to hear at Jewelry Maker. Now, Rose Quartz stone that so many of you love and adore because there's nothing else again that quite brings the qualities that uh, rose quartz do there's a whole world of the crystal healing belief is behind this gemstone as well xdq z74 right they're eight millimeter rounds they're absolutely beautiful a hundred and eighty carats Now, apparently, there was a mention yesterday that a lot of you were saying you hadn't seen Rose Quartz on screen for a while. So, XDQ Z74, 180 carats at this Rose Quartz. 180 carats now, you're really, all the phone lines are getting chucker. We haven't seen it for ages, and this isn't your average rose quartz as well. If you have a look on the high street, you're likely to see rose quartz um, really prominent within the world of the crystal healing shops. Have a look at the difference, and you'll be able to definitely see the difference immediately if you pick up a bit of rough, or if you pick up gemstone quality. This is gemstone quality, and again, it's not just like we've ha um, we're selling to you a piece that has been picked up roughly cut into a shape and it's a, a crystal for you to hold or it's a gemstone for you to have on your person. This is absolutely beautiful and if you just put that little bit of silver and pop it into a bracelet, what do you think it could sell for? Ollie's just told me a price. I legally, I legally can't tell you how much he saw one for. I can't price compare. But you can price compare and what he said, I actually think that was quite really low price. I don't XDQ Z74. This is really gorgeous quality rose quartz. Maybe you want to consider popping this with some amethyst as well. That would be really lovely. Pinks and purples together. Beautiful. This is actually would look really lovely with the next kit. It's genuine rose quartz. It's the gemstone that gives us so much femininity to our jewellery and a lovely, lovely sparkle. XDQ Z74. 8mm fasted rounds, 180 carats on there. Here we go, and the price is coming in for you at £7.95. That gets you the full strand. So let's get an image here of just how many beads of genuine rose quartz we're getting. They've each been hand faceted for you with 128 facets on each one. And just how many pieces of jewellery could you make out of this one strand? Just some of my absolute favourite jewellery that I make is literally a gemstone on a head pin on a shepherd hook the simplest of earrings. And when you're dealing with solid 925 stunning silver, which you primarily are here at Jewelry Maker, you're making genuine gemstone and 925 stunning silver jewelry very, very quickly, very, very easily. Look, they keep coming. There's more, there's more, 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 
もももももももももももももももももももももももZ74 one post and packaging price for all of your purchases. So again, if you've already shopped today, if you've already had the new kit that we've brought to you today, if you've already had our early bird special, those gorgeous pearls that we had, and you're going to be getting some extra treats throughout the day, then add to your order. 4.95 will be your post and packaging price for all of your purchases all day. Again, if you hit a queue here at Jewelry Maker, because obviously we have masses of people buying from us on a every minute. Be it through the website or the phone lines. If you do hit cues at any point on the phone lines, it is a free phone number, and we've done that because we are aware that you know there's big volumes of phone calls. The uh, average queue length today, if you come through to the queue, is around about 50 seconds. We're averaging. It's free, free to wait. How much is it to wait on the phone lines, Claire? Free. It's free. Next. <laughs> XDQ Z74, 7.95 on those. Look at the sparkle. They're so pretty. So, so pretty. All right, let's stop the music for you then. Okay, so, did you know that when you, sh sorry, I totally whipped everything out of shop. That was, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was totally my fault and not my director, Ollie's. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ollie. Did you know that when you shop from us here at Jewelry Maker, you get a free DVD, a free booklet, and a free catalogue? Okay, all of this is free. How much is it, Claire? Free. <laughs> I think you slightly enjoyed doing that, didn't you? How much is it, Claire? Free. That's Claire behind the camera, folks. So it's a free DVD booklet and catalogue and you can order from the catalogue. If you order from the catalogue and order from the television and order from the website all in one day, still only one post and packaging price because when you place your order from Jewelry Maker, you can get absolutely everything sent to you for 4 95 So this has got a lot of your basic and a few more advanced techniques in and this booklet here as well has got some, you know, a bit of gemstone knowledge in the back for you there and then you've got so a lot of your gemstones uh, and named it in the back and you just carry on to quite a few different techniques. If I show it that way, it's probably a bit better. And I just think it's really lovely that you get a little picture of Linda and Sheila in there as well. Really nice. Kim, as we're doing jewellery maker for starters, is it possible to get the graphic? Brilliant. Because we have not looked at this toolkit in I don't know how long. Oh, did Ed show it to you yesterday? Oh, he's gone and stole my thunder. Well, I'm going to show it to you now anyway. So, toolkit. Have a look at the price of jewellery making tools elsewhere. You're going to get eight items in this kit, all included in the travel case. Open it up and here is what we have. So, you've got the storage boxes here and uh, they're all tight and they fastened up, fastened up nice and tight and snug in there. Then you've got a scoop tweezers, bead reamer, and you use this bead reamer to make the holes, um, thank you Ollie, Ollie just, <laughs> Ollie, I quite enjoyed that song, could you come and sing it for the viewers, please, please, Ollie was singing a little song about the bead reamer and that you can make the whole of your gemstones larger with a bead reamer. That was beautiful. I think everybody should be indulged with your voice. It's got a very good voice. It's pretty amazing. I'll talk to you about it sometime when we've got it actually all loaded up, ready to go, and we're going to play it on live on air. <laughs> we're, going to do a, we're going to do a live video. <laughs> yeah, cool. You've then got three sets of pliers. You've got your wire cutters, round nose and flat nose pliers. Now these are all the pliers that you'll see Mag's using today. Even though we used the red ones earlier, they're no different. It's just when you get a larger tool kit that contains a couple more of the larger, tool, uh, sorry, a couple more of the pairs of pliers, um, then they are red. So if you'd like a red one, speak with the call centre. If you'd like a pink one, you can get this one at £9.95. What's the current price on the large one? Do we know? I know it was £15.95. I know it's been on offer occasionally. Hmm. 
GLC R60 is the code. Oh, we've got a lot of new people joining us for this. Big warm welcome to you. Thanks for shopping from us here at Jewelry Maker. We are hoping to eventually become literally your one-stop shop for all of your jewelry maker needs. We're getting close. Can I also I know what I was gonna say. Okay. So that is 995. The code is GLC R60. Can you do me a little favour? Could you do me a little favour? You just stop the music for a sec, we'll just have a little natter. Here at Jewelry Maker, we always want to be able to bring to you more and more of what you want. If there are products or perhaps tools that you think are missing that we could really benefit you from being able to bring them to you. So perhaps you've been to another jewelry making shop and you've thought, do you know what, I could do with that, but I wish Jewelry Maker did it because they'd be able to do an amazing price. Will you let us know? And in fact, you can actually uh, pop it onto my Facebook page. If you go, and I promise I'll forward everything onto the management. I don't have any control about what product becomes on air. But I can certainly say, look, my lovely viewers are really wanting these products and I, and I will push them for you. So if you go onto Lucy Nichols Presenter on Facebook, or you can write to me here at the studio. So I can receive letters um, really frequently throughout the week and I always put your ideas over. If there's ideas of what you would really like to see here at Jewelry Maker, if you pop them on my presenter page, I promise I'll forward all of them to you to the relevant departments. So maybe there's a tool, maybe there's a certain pair of pliers and you're thinking, I'd really love them. If Jewelry Maker did them, I bet you we, they could do them at a really good price. So um, yeah, let me know, let me know. Right, how are we doing with names on the second kit? Wicked. Okay, we'll have a look at some names. Kim, you haven't got me selected. Hello, I can hear her now. Right. This kit um, was brand new just on the other day, um, and it's and it's just proven to be so popular. Let's have a look first of all at this strand here. And again, actually, it sort of brings in. You know how we had the agate before, and it had a print, almost looked like it had a print on with the way it had been crackled of this sort of. We said animal print, sort of snake skin and mock croc feel. Well, that's the feel that we get again from here. But again, imagine. Oh, you know, you know. Oh my word. You, you know what would look amazing with it? The kit that we're bringing to the bright pinks. Yeah, that wicked lady kit. So have a look at these. You've got deep purples, you've got deep pinks going through there as well. 28 pieces of solid 925 sterling silver. It's also included in this kit. 10 head pins, 10 crimp beads, 2 pairs of shepherd hooks and 2 bolt ring clasps and jump rings. And then you've also got in here this gorgeous imperial jasper and then the black jet which is 4mm plain rounds. Now this kit is going under £20, we're going to do a great price on it for you. We've got um, an alright stunt quantity remaining, so it's a case of jump on the phone line. Oh, okay, it's beginning to go. AGG P76 is going under £20 and it's not going to 19 95 28 pieces of 925 sterling silver with it. So you've got the 4mm rounds of the black jet, you've got the red amber, um, sorry, red imperial jasper, apologies, it is imperial, red imperial jasper, 6mm rounds, and those printed shell coins are 25mm in their diameter. Big, fabulous look, big designer look. 28 pieces of 925 stone and silver, 50 metres of the beading thread, 6 metres of elastic and a large and a small organza gift bag. AGG P76, so you've got 50 metres of the beading thread, 6 metres of elastic, a large and a small organza gift bag. with all of your 925 sterling silver in the organza gift bag as well. Okay, so let's bring in the prize for you. You've got the opportunity to make approximately six to eight pieces of 925 sterling silver genuine gemstone jewellery within each kit. And it's is £17.95. It's, it's an amazing price. It's an amazing price kit. Max, are you loving that colour combination and shape yeah, of gems? Indeed. They are beautiful. Aren't they? They're really striking, those um, printed shell pieces as well. They are 
gorgeous AGG P76, 1795 on this kit. One postage and packaging price for all of your purchases all day. It's called the Serene kit and it includes 28 pieces of 95 sterling silver. That is a big designer look. And those little jets as well, they're so lightweight, you'll be able to get quite a, an impressive look with those. A very lightweight, uh, very lightweight gemstone. So stay with me, there's absolutely loads to keep bringing to you, including that second brand new kit, and we're still receiving your texts regarding the name of it. We'll see you on the other side of this for even more. Jewellery Maker presents Pearl Gift Sets. These fine sets come with 16 pearls, over a metre of waxed cord, and available in a variety of different colours at only £7.95 each. To order, just dial the number on your screen and quote the code of the colour you would like to receive. It's that simple. As an addition, for £4.95, why not get the Macrame Tutorial DVD? It's full of handy tips and will have you crafting intricate designs in no time. Pearl Gift Sets from Jewellery Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Add to your collection with our Wirework DVD, which is full of hints, tips and step-by-step -step instructions for all levels. Join guest designer Laura Binding as she takes you through how to create the Tree of Life, the Herringbone Weave and many more. To get your hands on a copy, phone our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker, bringing out the designer in you. This bead box features three strands of red jasper and three strands of aventurine totaling 1,240 carats, all for just $19.95. These earthy tones are great for your autumn collection. Offer, phone our call centre now on 0800 644 655 and quote the code DFP038. Jewellery Maker, bringing out the designer in you. I'm about to offer you now something which whenever we do something like this, it allocates out incredibly quickly. So let's stop the music. I'm about to hit you with an offer that you can't resist. I'm about to hit you with a price on silver, which is, I don't know if you could compare it even closely to anywhere else. In fact, I'm going to remove my glasses. It's that serious. Now, okay, Max, Max is um, a silversmith, uh, a goldsmith and silversmith. Oh, yeah. And um, just in case you'd forgotten, I thought I'd remind you of that. Oh, yeah, cheers. <laughs> Max, silver. Yes. Um, where are we at at the moment with pricing? Um, it's up near a pound per, per gram. Okay. The scrap value is currently around 80 pence. Okay. As, uh, and, and obviously... Silver as well, do, that, this isn't just our point of view. Price or not. You, know, you know, this is this is a case of you can have a look on the internet today. You can have a look in um, national newspapers. You can really readily and easily access the price of silver. Yep. Now, something that really annoys you about us here is our price of silver. It uh, yeah, it doesn't change with the market. In other words, yeah. You bought, bought silver at some point in the 1970s and it's still selling at that price. <laughs> yeah. uh, we didn't buy it in the 1970s, just a disclaimer there for you. But silver is, you know, silver and gold prices reportedly talked about all the time. The main thing for you to focus on here at Jewellery Maker is the fact that when we buy as a company, our buying power can really go to town on, means that we, we can really go to town prices, I mean, literally, solo, 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 that shock that we are aware of people bulk buy our silver. And we have got a massive price reduction on this silver today. Now, it might be a case, and I assume this will be the case, that we bought this silver in a long time ago because we've had to get it from our suppliers, flown over, it's got to be bundled up into the right packages. It's, this is a lengthy process, some months ago, Silver was at a much lower price than we could buy it at today, this morning, when price check, we wouldn't be able to buy it in at the price that we bought this in for. 
And that does therefore mean that you are going to get a much lower price compared to if we'd have bought it today for you. So it also means I can't guarantee we're going to be able to sustain these prices. I don't know if silver's going to drop really low. I don't know if silver's going to go really high. What I do know is the value for money on this silver today is amazing, amazing, amazing because of what you're getting with the components you're getting as well. There are 35 pieces of 925 sterling silver and they are not just your typical pieces. This is not like you get 30 pieces in a kit. Look at the caliber, look at the weight of these pieces. It's individually there's actually ollie's just counting it up for me 40 i'm going to leave ollie to do that for me individual pieces it actually works out as 48 individual pieces giving you 35 components of 925 sterling silver now when you're using silver as a jewelry maker other than using solid gold you, it's really hard to get much higher than this you know obviously you can start using rhodium etc but the majority of jewelry making let's face it it's done with the silver plated silver plated i'm going to be really honest with you i'm a bit out of touch on prices but i don't know why you would go for silver plated when you can go for this silver at such a low price they are going already and we're going to be taking pounds off the original price that this was let's have a look at the rundown there's 10 crimp beads um, 10 ball head pins 10 faceted silver balls 10 eye pins and then two of the big silver balls and these are fabulous they've got a really sizable hole in them now I'm I can't I I can't tell you exactly if you were to take this the day you get it home and you were to take it to a dealer and to go and be weighed, I couldn't tell you how they would price this silver. I couldn't tell you its worth. What I can say is from its original price, we're going even lower and it's just the most amazing deal. Amazing deal. You've got the opportunity there to put the threads through. You could put leather through there as well on solid 925 stone silver balls. That is very, very um, similar to a very big known brand out there. So you're going to get two of those and they are 10 millimetres in their diameter. You do then also have those 10 little faceted silver balls in there. It's the difference between handmade and homemade and it's the quality of your findings for me that really differentiate between the two. If you're going to go for solid 925 sterling silver findings, you're taking your jewellery into the high, one of the highest leagues of jewellery making you can do. Isn't it, Max? Indeed. It's, it's, yeah, it's the, it's the real deal. Although I did quote a price just then. I haven't checked the price today, so please don't quote me on the, on the price of silver today. I That's might be what, wrong. Yeah. Okay. I might be wrong. Um, there so are people phoning and saying, but Mike said it was... So oh, I don't know. I haven't looked. I got up too early. Sorry. What we know, so just to cover it all, what we know is this was originally 29.95. Silver is up and down in price. Gold is up and down in price. But generally trending upwards. You might, you might be lucky and you might be buying on a day when it's low, but it's certainly higher now than it was six months ago. And in six months, it'll be higher than it is today. So and is that what's been forecasted for your generally yeah. generally it's you know it's higher now than it's ever been so and there's it doesn't look like it's going to stop wow why would it you know so 35 pieces giving you full well 35 components giving you 48 individual pieces originally 29.95 also you these are pieces these aren't we're not talking about raw bullion here. We're not talking about going and buying a, a piece of silver sheet. The, the, there's, you know, it's not just, it's not just that you're buying the silver. You're buying these crafted findings, these pieces, and that's a, that's a separate thing. I could go into a bullion dealer and buy four grams of um, silver, but I couldn't, for that price, buy four grams worth of silver findings the silver findings are always more expensive because they've been made they've been either well usually they're they're made by machines it mass produced but it's still a higher price than buying silver uh, as sheets you know so uh, if you're talking about oh we've got about 10 grams worth of silver in, uh, in this kit no yeah but you've also got the beautiful uh, bar that star bar chart you've got the charm and uh, clasp you've got the head pins they've all been extruded and they've had the balls put onto the end of them you've got those beautiful twists th there you know so 
They're it, beautiful, it, yeah, aren't they? They it, are beautiful. It's not just that they're, they're sterling silver, it's that they're sterling silver findings. High quality sterling silver, 95, um, 95 findings. So, always, always more expensive. And you can shop around and try and find a good deal, but really, this is a good deal. While it's going to go to such a bizarrely low price, you want to be getting more than one of these. Now you've got a 30 day money back guarantee. You can always change, take, you know, change your mind and send them back. But whilst this is going to such a bizarrely low price for solid 925 sterling silver, get it. I mean, seriously get it. Kim, my producer, has just said she thinks that this is on a special offer, like a clearance price on it. It was taken so low and possibly forgotten to be taken back up again. <laughs> the original price on this was $29.95. Sorry, $27.95. Apologies. $27.95 was the original price on these. So I've just shown to you also have um, a hole at the top. The opportunities for this is just endless. So, original price, $27.95. I'm going to give you all the luck in the world. When this silver findings pack has gone, I don't know the price we're going to be able to do it again at. I really don't. But following current trends, it would amaze me if we could do this price again. It would amaze me. The original price, $27.95. This is your opportunity to really get incredible value for money on solid 925 sterling silver, making your jewellery the difference between handmade and homemade. The code is FPG P22. There's 48 individual pieces giving you 35 components for $17.95. Now, it's the fastest people to get this are going to get the deals. We are much lower in stock than when we first launched this. Let's have a look again at the rundown. So you've got the 10 crimp beads, you've got the 10 head pins, you've got the... 10 four millimeter faceted balls you've got the 10 eye pins you've got the 10 uh, sorry the two big silver balls in there as well they're solid 925 sterling silver as well as that gorgeous toggle clasp um, that we've just seen in before you just a moment ago we've then got those lovely connectors we've got the uh, earring findings all coming in that organza gift bag this isn't an opportunity that we bring to you every single day on air this is an opportunity that we have right now that was previously 27.95 what was that sorry kim Kim's just saying if we get this, if this sells out today, we don't know if we'll have this findings pack ag back again. It's a case of we've been asked so frequently at the moment, would we consider buying in gold, solid gold? Um, the answer to that is at the moment, no. We're not going to be buying in solid gold. I've spoken to Paula and the answer to that, who is the um, manager, overall manager of the channel, and we're not because of where it is in price. What if silver does the same? We don't know. There are people who say that it, it will, may, you know, not this year, but they're saying it's trending toward that, and that we may end up with gold and silver being almost exactly the same price as really. It's like, even copper, copper is now approaching the price that silver was. Oh yeah, you know, I've so, heard that. Yeah. You know, so with the copper bees that we've got yeah. on the website as well, maybe check oh, out. Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Do you know, it's funny because we talk about this, and it was there's different forecasts. We can't, I can't make any 100% guarantees. I can't make any 100% guarantees. But I think it's very interesting that at Frankfurt Airport, you can go and buy gold out of a vending machine. Can you? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Apparently, they've, they've launched those um, gold vending machines in, in India as well. Although they're more, more likely to be um, uh, devotional objects, you know, like little, little god trinkets and things like that. But wow. it's solid gold. Solid gold out of a vending well, machine. Wow, and they're beautiful, those things are absolutely stunning. Really stunning. So, um, this, this is an opportunity. You don't have to buy it. I think you'll kick yourself. If you are a jewelry maker, I think you'll kick yourself. Because, do you know what? Regardless of price, like Max was saying, this has been hand, you know, it might have, some of these may have been hand prepared. But it's solid 925 sterling silver that isn't just coming to you. Do you tend to get it in sheets then, silver, when you're working uh, with it? How, does it? how do you buy it? Um, it very much depends. When I'm making something from scratch, I buy uh, what's called sheet and then um, wire. But wire could be, you know, like 10 mil thick piece of rod. Whoa. Um, Whoa. Or also buy stuff called chenille, which is tube. And so, yeah, it generally comes in sheets, wire, and tube. But to be honest, the amount of time that it would take me to make, say, a cufflink finding, a cufflink finding from scratch, it's more economical for me to buy them in. But then they're still expensive. But it's, you know, it, it costs. 
So it can I ask money. you, how long would it take you? I take it, would, you, would this be made out of a tube or a sheet? To make those, I yeah. would use wire uh, to, be, to make the, the bar. Yeah. And then I would cut the star out with uh, of a, a piece of sheet. And, oh, sorry. Yeah, that one, that one there. I would cut both of those stars out. And do you cut it pretty much like you would cut a sort of a like saw. a... We use, we use what's called a piercing saw. It's a very, it's a saw with a blade that's about as thick as a human hair. Uh -huh. uh, and you, and then I would solder the, I would make the jump rings by, you know the gizmo? You know how you wrap wire around yeah. and you make those, right, that's, that's called a, a, a zebedee, or, or it's how you start, or a spring, basically. And then you would cut down one side of that and turn those into jump rings. So you see it's, la it's labor intensive even to make jump rings. So that's why, I mean, I, I could make a pair of earrings from scratch with the posts and the backs and everything like that, but it, it, the amount of time that it takes to do that, it's more economical for me to pay the extra to have somebody else have made them, you know, mass wow. produce them or whatever. So wow. to, to make this so is it the would thing be to make those by hand, they would. Put the, they would price them out of the market if you see what I mean. Yeah. You have to. So I would I would buy findings like that rather than making them I was because about to my say. end yeah because my end product will then be more economically viable. So Somebody you, is more likely to you buy it. You as a silversmith yes would find this more economically viable yes. to buy this finding pack than to make your than own to pieces. make it myself yeah. Although I think I could, that sums it all up. Although I could I don't know anybody who would. You know, even in the even in the jewellery industry, we buy ready prepared things because it's just it's time. It's about time, and also they're great. You know, somebody else has done all the finishing for you. They're they're perfect. They're lovely. There's no rough edges. You don't need to do any sanding, buffing, polishing, anything. You just buy them, and they're ready to go. Yeah. So, do you know what? I've never really thought about it in terms of all that as well. I'm well, just like, we've had to, that just, and that is such such valid points that you've made. Well, we've had we've really had to consider that that as we've started to sell more things, the volume of our sales have gone up, and therefore the amount of time that it's taking us to to fulfil orders, we've had to start considering having certain things cast. You know, it's like we've gone from everything is handmade to a certain number of things are cast. So. We're, um, with cufflinks, with the, the domes of the cufflinks that we make. Uh, previously, we handmade every single dome of every sing single cufflink. Uh, now, we have some of the domes cast because just it's easier to phone somebody and say, can I have 10 pairs of these domes by the end of next week? And they go, great. And now I can concentrate on doing something else rather than cutting out circles, mm. putting them in the doming thing and, uh, and then polishing them and then do, do, do. It's just a whole day to make those, whereas I can phone somebody and say, uh, cast number four, please, and, and they, you know. So it's different, it's, things, things have shifted. And I did feel slightly icky about it, going from being a, a hand making everything, but now, you know, when you get an order overnight for eight pairs of cufflinks, that's a whole week's worth of work just to make those, those four. I phone the casting company and say, I need another 10 pairs of whatever. I think we can safely say that that is a fantastic purchase and you should get it. Yes. I'm so that's sorry the, the if you miss term. out. Um, I tell you what we could do, Kim. Could we get the other findings pack that we featured on yesterday's show and quickly recap that later? Because not everyone is going to be successful in getting that. I'm going to endeavour to get another silver findings pack for you later that we've got the same reduction on for you, OK? Now, I'm just going to actually hold this up here, the, um, the earring finding that we've had from that pack, and pop it with the fluorite, which is brand new in, and it's gorgeous. And the reason I want to do this is because the nature of this earring finding that you've just purchased within that pack, you can get one of these fluorite and just pop it in the earring. Now, with that single fluorite strand, you've got delicate greens, delicate purples, rich intense purples, even pinky colours in there, so you could get different colours. I'll pop the ear finding to one side, I'll pop that to Caroni. Thanks, Dal. And let's have a look at this brand new strand that's icky. I-C-K-Y. <laughs> Five, seven, thank okay. you. <laughs> Look at those. Uh. 
Right, and just so you know, before we do this, I've just been informed, please stop your text messages now. Please stop your text messages now. Ed is on his way. We're going to be doing that second brand new kit very shortly. Ed is on his way down. He's just going down to choose the name of the second kit that you've been texting in for. Good luck, everyone. Thanks for being a part of that. Bit of fun and a little bit of bead scoop on its way to somebody. Ed is on his way. OK, so we'll have a look at this fluorite. Deep, rich, rich purple. delicate hues of green and fluorite has got the properties of fluorescence in there hence its name so it is going to play around so beautifully with the light i see ky 57 KY57. Fisted, uh, twisted ovals. 8 by 6 millimeters each. Oh, I'm really sorry, folks. I'm really... Oh, dear me. Oh. <coughs> I better not be getting this germ back, you know. This coldy fidey something or other that's around. Because you've been breathing on me. Oh. Please, no. So, right, OK. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I see KY57. 170 carats of this multicolored fluorite, the twisted ovals, and they're eight by six millimeters. They are brand spanking new, and they are just gorgeous. So you've got this delicate green, the delicate purple, but that's rich, intense purple. But then look at this one. This is like a beautiful raspberry color. Now there's actually qualities within here that I think would look so beautiful with our next kit as well. Sort of this minty freshness, beautiful. 0800 644 It's a full 38 centimeter strand, full 38 centimeter strand, 170 carats of beautiful fluorite. This is brand new and you can add it to your baskets on jewelrymaker.com or give us a call for it. It's a free phone number 0800 644 655 ICKY57. This gorgeous fluorite. All right then, let's bring in the price for you. They're absolutely stunning. Incredible clarity on them. And then just nine pounds and ninety-five pence. They are brand new. They are beautiful, and they'll be on their way to you. In fact, they'll probably get to you in the next couple of days. One post and packaging price for all of your uh, purchases all day today. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm going to sneeze again. Oh. Sorry about that, folks. I keep having to have my microphone cut because I keep sneezing. I can't get. I can't be ill again. I'll be uh, really uh, cheesed off. He said that uh, this current thing that's going around drags on quite a lot. A lot of people are. It goes away and then it comes back and it oh. goes away. I had to have antibiotics in the end. I'm bored of it now. I'm bored of feeling pants. Ugh. Right. Yeah. 170 carats. I see KY57 multicolored fluorite twisted ovals, 8 by six millimetres, nine pounds and 95 pence. Okay, we're gonna go to a short break. Now, during this break, we've got a very special message for you from Steve uh, Bennett. Um, pardon? Oh no, 
we're not. Just not just yet. <laughs> oh, OK. No, I'm jumping the gun. It's not yet. Are we going to do Chosen by You now? We're having a short break. We're going to do Chosen by You. Then we're having a special message from Steve Bennett. And then we're going to be doing a brand new kit. And we're going to have the, in, uh, the winner of the name brand new kit announced. Cup of tea. This beadbox features six strands of genuine pearls, including chocolate, peacock, mushroom and cream pearls, all for just £34.95. Give your designs that classic look. To get your hands on this great offer, phone our call centre now on 0800 644 655 and quote the code TAMG89. Jewellery maker. Designer in you. Want to learn about polymer clay? Well now you can with our new polymer clay workshop. Join our resident expert Debbie Bulford as she guides you through the techniques to create uniform bead shapes, basic canes, pendants and feature beads and how to give your beads a professional finish. Then design and create your own jewellery which you can take home. Tour the studios, meet the presenters and all of this for just $64.95. The workshop price includes black and white clay, a colour clay pack of your choice, use of all tools, refreshments and lunch. For more information, call our friendly call centre on 0800 644 655. Get creative with Jewellery Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to introduce Lisa Pavelka Textured Stamps for all your polymer and silver projects. Our wide range of Lisa Pavelka stamps come in a variety of unique patterns and textures. Each stamp is designed to give highly detailed results for both dimensional design and surface imprinting. Each stamp comes unmounted for optimal usability. To view our full range of Lisa Pavelka products, please visit our website. Because you'd see it, you'd see it yeah, on the shoulders. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I have. You don't mind, do you? <laughs> I haven't got dressed properly. No, I don't. Do I dress myself? No, my dresser does it for me, darling. <laughs> Just in the dark this morning. I did actually. I did. Right. That's that then. Chosen by you. Uh, can I say big, 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 mahoosive congratulations to Debbie Taylor. Debbie, and she's wishing us all a happy new year. Thank you so much. Um, oh, actually, it's uh, Debbie Taylor Goundry. I'm hoping I'm saying your name correctly for you there. Goundry, Goundry. You have been chosen for today's Chosen by You. Here we go. Here are your pieces of jewellery. Right, I'm going to explain to you um, what Chosen by You is. Chosen by You is when you, our fabulous viewers, can email or you can write in 10 components you have chosen for a designer to then put together into jewellery and then you get sent to the jewellery for free. How wow. cool is that? So it's to say thank you for your time. It's to really find out which products out there that you're really interested in as fabulous viewers and as jewellery makers, what you'd like to see working um, w alongside each other. It's an opportunity perhaps to see if there's strands that you've seen on the website or in the shows that you're really attracted to and you don't know how they'd quite work together. It's done for you and then you get the scent of the jewellery. Do we know who's made this up? Cherry. Cherry's made it up. In fact, Cherry's in the studio at the moment. Has Karen made some up as well? Oh, fab. Oh, she's gone to make a cup of tea at the moment. Um, 
Oh my goodness, Karen's jewellery is absolutely beautiful. I know she's one of our producers, but she is a fantastic jewellery designer as well. So let's have a look at the jewellery that's been made and then I'm going to show you the components that Debbie chose to put with it. This is gorgeous. I did mean to say Debbie because it's Debbie chose the components. I think they were Debbie, no Cherry made up the design because we've got a guest designer called Debbie as well. It's fine. <laughs> Here we go, aren't they fab? Really gorgeous, gorgeous signs. I'd really like to just focus on these earrings for a moment. Talking about earrings, have you made a pair? Yes. Have you? Yep, <laughs> out of the way now. He's on his way. Righteous block done. These are absolutely beautiful. I'm going to start off by talking about these stunning white quartz bicones. Hello. See that pendant? Ah. Excuse me. Sorry. Just need, to keep, need, to, need to keep my, my, my skills library uh, updated. Yeah, yeah, has that helped? It has. Good, glad for that. Right, carry on. <laughs> So those are beautiful earrings. Now, first of all, then, we've got these gorgeous white quartz hexagon bicones. They're the six millimetre. I honestly, truly believe that everyone should have these in their yeah, stash. Yeah, I agree. Aren't they just stunning? They're very, very, very comparable to a very well-known um, crystal company out there. And yet they're real gemstones. And they're really, really versatile. They're brilliant. I, I like them. I, I do too. Yes. They're lovely on tiara techniques as well. They're so pretty. They're eight pounds and ninety-five. Just TSV I73, six millimeter hexagon bicones, and they are incredibly clear white quartz. And again, as we talked about earlier, about using a different coloured thread through your gemstones to, re especially when you've got a gemstone of really fantastic clarity. Imagine the different colours that you could pop through those, and it's just really going to emphasise that colour because of the clarity that's there. They are absolutely beautiful. I'm so excited to do a guest designer spot now. For it. Except I can't be a guest designer, I can just be a guest. They can't call me a designer. It's supposed to, I'm, I've got a provisional date. Mm. I thought you were going to say provisional license as a designer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think I'd qualify for that. They are, they're beautiful, really beautiful. So alongside those as well, as we work our way down, you can see that you've got these really fabulous wheels. They are the amethyst wheels. And it comes in a strand that gives you a lot of variety of hues from deep, rich, and lighter hues of purples as well. They're really pretty. Very elegant, really beautifully deep saturation of color in those. And the code on those is BFV. I13 and the code is 1095. That's a lovely strand. You might be tempted to just restrand that to be honest. That's lovely. Now I'm focusing just on the earrings for a minute, so I'm going to have a look at this final strand here. They're 1095, code is B I15. So we look to the bottom of these earrings now, we can then see that we've got these really lovely multicolour agate diamond shapes. Now because they're in the multicolour, you can literally pick and choose yours. Now these are really low stock, Kim's just warned me. And you can see the purpley ones. Oh my word, 5.95! Get them, get them, get them! Quick, 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 quick! Get them, get them! 5.95. Really low stock. G P three eight. Quick, 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 then quick. Just gorgeous, aren't they? And look at that lovely red colour. Really lovely red colour. $5.95. So just have a look at this. I'm afraid they have now all been allocated out currently during the live show. So if you are wanting these and you're watching a repeat, it might be worth just, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry, folks, who miss out on those. I'm so sorry. Okay. Have a look at this necklace here now, and then you're looking at these gorgeous clear bicones into the amethyst, into that agate. 
It's the amethyst dropping down here by cones again. So that's using exactly the same components. Then have a look at the other necklace, which is used, again, in terms of gemstones, exactly the same components, because those are the three strands of gemstones. But then we start to bring silver into the mix, and the silver in the mix here has been this gorgeous chain. It's absolutely beautiful, where you've got little um, silver balls on the chain itself. And this is a nine inch length, so it comes like this, and it's been chopped in half and used in this lovely, lovely necklace. So that's nine inches in length. And at the bottom, we've then got this lovely filigree, beautiful pendant. So the solid 925 stunning silver chain is 1995. It's nine inches in its length. Thank you, Caroni, for my cup of tea she just brought in. And then you've got the uh, filigree, beautiful, beautiful pendant at the bottom there as well. We'll just get the price in on that one for you. And it's the uh, it's a flower carved pendant. And it's just $7.95. Again, it's solid 925 sterling silver. And if we just think Max was saying earlier, you know, the time it would take to make that. So chances are that that has been, would it have been, a, um, to be honest, I know a, all about sort of the cutting of gemstones, but in terms of creating silver into certain shapes, would that be cast? Is that, that how That is it's... most likely to be cast. Um, probably cast or pressed, but more likely to be cast. Okay. They'd make a wax. Somebody would carve that in wax, uh, and then it would be um, cast in silver. Right. So generally, that's how things work. That's fab, isn't it? So then also, just some added little extras as well that were on the components list were these lovely little um, sparkly balls in there. Okay, and we're just getting the code up for those for you. Just bear with us a second. They are brushed silver. They're star 61 star Six one, and they have been used at the bottom of this necklace here and just used in between the amethyst as it leads into the agate. On this one, here we are. Come on, Chloe, come on. <laughs> They're my favourite space of beads, those They're ones. They're beautiful, yeah. aren't they? And they, I like the, the code is star. 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 Sparkles. Star sparkles. <laughs> Indeed, yeah. And also, the, uh, in fact, let's put everything up on your screen there. Thank you so much to Debbie. I'm hoping you're going to be thrilled to bits and you'll be receiving yours really, really soon. Uh, just to confirm as well, on the back of this necklace, if I may just turn it round, if that's okay, on the back of here, you can also see, included in the components list, was a slider clasp. And that is a lovely, lovely slider clasp. And then you've got the additional charms on either side. So you can see there. And the lever back earrings, that's to create, we haven't actually had a chance to look at these. These are the earrings here. Oh, sorry. Oh, wow. You do continental earring yes. clasps now? Yes. They don't come as standards in kits, but you can get them as separate findings. And they're for two pairs, it's just five ninety-five. So I here really they are. like those, and they really add. And they, we, we were talking to a client who's done a, a, a large, a bulk order, and we were saying these are a bit more expensive. And she was just like, "No, I want those. I want those. They really are very classy, those." And when people bulk order jewelry from you, yeah, are they? Is that because they have shops? Yeah, that... it's basically it's tr it's um, what we call a wholesale or a trade deal. We we'll charge them a trade price, and then they will add their markup onto it. Right, and I see. Am I am I allowed to say who who it's for? Am I allowed to say? I don't believe we are. No. Okay, cool. Unfortunately, well, are they a, very well known? They are a very well known um, leisure company who are opening a. Um, a a uh, gift store in in a new hotel, and so they want. Oh wow! Yeah, so it's, that's what I'm talking about about all this. Oh my God! There's so many pieces to make. That's anyway. amazing, though. Congratulations on Thank that you very uh, much. contract. That's it's amazing. It's scary. Um, I don't believe we are, but if the next time you're on, we can find out that we can, 
then we definitely will expose that information. Thank you very much. Brilliant. So you can see the components there. Thank you so much, Debbie. You've done such a f choosing yours. And we'll get all of those pieces made up sent to you. Right then. Coming up then, let me just explain to you what has happened regarding this next kit. Let's stop the music. Thinking you. We had this kit on earlier, just a little brief uh, glimpse of it. And we have been asking you, our fabulous viewers, to name the kit. Can I now announce who has won that? The winner of the naming of the kit and the winner who will be sent a bead scoop as a little bit of a thank you for your time and imagination is Emily from South Glamorgan, we will reveal the name and the kit after a very short break. Now, if I can just get your attention for the moment, because there's a special message I just need you to hear from Steve Bennett. I've just got back from Kenya and while I've been away, there seems to be a little bit of confusion arose about the word jade. Now, in China, jade is a, used ter a term used as a collective name for many different gemstones. Uh, I wrote in my book and in our online learning library that jade is a term used for nephrite and jadeite. That is two gemstones that are commonly used around the world and people class as the word jade. In China, though, there seems to be a lot more stones that they're using uh, under, the, under the label jade, and that's absolutely fine, because uh, jade, again, is a collective name for many different gemstones. Also expect to see now the word quartzite jade and dolomite jade, and, and maybe others will come out, because uh, what we're learning more and more about the Chinese market is that for thousands of years, they've used the word jade collectively for not just the two gemstones that I originally wrote about, but for many, many gemstones. Um, so, absolutely fine, carry on using your jade. We'll probably relabel it actually in the UK as Chinese jade. Uh, and as we find out more and discover different gemstones that they're using in China under the word jade, we'll keep the website updated. I just got back from Samburu in Kenya. Now, at the moment, there's a bit of a drought. In fact, the it seems to be more of a, a reoccurring effect because of global warming. Uh, the riverbeds are dried out uh, and people are struggling to find water. Uh, the schools are already built there. It's a little bit different to our projects in Zambia. In Kenya, there are already schools. The problem is they're half full. And the reason they're half full is the children are spending all day walking around trying to find water for the family. So we're going to put, start out a new project in conjunction with Earthwatch where we're going to do a lot of investigation to find a sustainable way uh, of giving the community fresh water on a regular basis. Uh, in the interim, because that's going to take a long time to get going, I'm going to start a new appeal. Uh, don't forget that Kenya is English speaking. It used to be an English colony. Um, uh, and all these kids, they're coming back from school, but they haven't got many textbooks. There's no internet. It's going to be a long time until there's internet and television in these, rural, in these sort of very rural areas. So what I want to do is I want to start a library. We're going to build a library straight away uh, out there in Kenya. Uh, so I want to start the Samburu Library of any books in English that you think would be useful uh, for uh, school children from the age of five up, uh, send them here to the Library Appeal at Jewelry Maker, and we'll make sure that they go into our brand new library out there in Kenya. I can now reveal that the name of this kit by Emily that we have chosen was Midnight Snowstorm. I'm loving that. Congratulations, Emily. Thank you very, very, very much for your time on there and that. And what do you think? Do you think, would you like to perhaps pursue um, doing that more often, being involved and naming kits and things. Do you fancy a bit of that? Because we are going to start doing a lot more sort of audience participation. Not like here in a panto. Or in a, you can if you like. It's like a panto sometimes here in the studio, isn't it, Claire? Yeah. So, <laughs> so thank you very, very, very much for, uh, for being a part of that. Okay.
We have given this kit now that you're about to see on your screen, which you can see here, and it is gorgeous. We gave this kit to Mags. And before I actually look at all the individual pieces, can we perhaps just have a little bit of a glimpse at some of the jewellery that has been made? It's absolutely stunning. Now, just referring back to what Steve has said as well, first of all, please, 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 if you can send in your books, you should see what the work that the company is doing out all over the world at the moment. So if you can send in your books, that would be absolutely amazing um, and help us to provide a library out there. Okay, so... And also referring back to what Steve has just said as well, this is the Chinese jade. Look at it, it's absolutely gorgeous. And this is obviously that amazing minty freshness that's given the essence of a snowstorm. That is just gorgeous, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And it has got, has got, do you see what I mean about it? Almost looking like peppermint cream. Mm-hmm. Peppermint cream, but then, yeah, so a midnight snowstorm is fab. So let's have a look at the actual shapes and size of the gemstones here. So with your black agate, you've got these massive 16 millimetres. So they are going to really bring in quite, um, quite a chunky, sort of imposing aspect to the jewellery. Not imposing as such. I always think to what Debbie um, says about when she chooses her gemstones, that she really chooses, and it's, do you know what? It's not necessarily about the gemstone you're using. It's about the way they look as well. So the gemstone here being... Um, being a big backdrop and she says she always loves a big strong colour as a backdrop because quite often I'll put two delicate colours together and she'll say yeah that's lovely but you need something to give an impact to show how delicate the colours are so for me this big strong black agate is really going to just emphasise the delicate nature of that Chinese jade so these are the 16 millimetre rounds and the 650 carats there now we'll move on to this Chinese jade first of all I think Midnight snowstorm, get that image in your head. It's in. And then look at these, look at that delicate hue. These are really, really, really lovely. That minty freshness and then that sort of snowy feel to it as well. Now these are twisted ovals and they're measuring 16 by 18 millimetres each. We've then also got... Look at that. Look at those. These are really impressive. Oh, I've just had a request. Emily in South Glamorgan, hun. Um, we just need to have your... Um... <laughs> that was Max's bum. No. Just turn around and there's your bum. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Emily in South Glamorgan, we... Um... We can't seem to get your customer number there. So if you can just email or text in your customer, that would be brilliant. If you email into studio at jewelrymaker.com, yep, studio at jewelrymaker.com. Um, and it's Emily, in, because there's more than one Emily in South Glamorgan that shops with us. So Emily in South Glamorgan who chose Midnight Snowstorm. If you text in, actually, then we can make sure it's the same text number so no one tries to steal your scoop. So these are your other two strands then. So you've got that fabulous agate, you've got that gorgeous Chinese jade, and they are twisted ovals of 16 by 8 millimetres, and this is 30, sorry, 16 by 8 millimetres, this one, and 30 by 20 millimetres on this one here. Now we've also got, alongside this, 50 metres of the silver colour beading thread, 6 metres of the clear elastic, and then you've also got 20 metres of the monofilament. Did you get round to using the monofilament? Not this time around, but I did notice it when you started coming with the kits. I was quite impressed. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? It just gives you a completely sort of different tone to it. Oh, just so you know, we've got less than 50 of this kit remaining. Goodness me. They are allocated so quickly. So, 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 so quickly. So 50 metres of the silver colour bean thread, 6 metres of the clear elastic, and then 20 metres of the monofilament. Now monofilament, if you've not used it before, is almost like, um, well, let, me, let me... Fishing line? Yeah. It is, isn't it? 
but it gives you the opportunity to do illusion necklaces where you literally are, you're going to see that so much less than you would beading thread. Great for illusion style necklaces, yeah, perfect. Especially if you're going to do those lovely sort of jangly looks. Okay, so that's all your components there. Now you've also got 25, um, 25 co components of 925 sterling silver, which actually 30 pieces of 925 sterling silver. We've also got 50 metres of beading thread, 6 metres of elastic and large and small organs gift pack, only 20 metres of your monofilament. So, VJN G86, this is the Midnight Snowstorm kit. Thanks again to Emily in South Glamorgan who has named this kit for us. It really has got amazing potential with different, I think, these particularly. If you have a look at these um, Chinese jade that you've got, the puffy ovals, you can see that they just have this very delicate, it's almost like they've been, you know when you get pastry and you just do the little little pinches around the side, it's almost like that, but that will have been hand carved into it, it's the same on all of them, and the front and the back. That's quite an unusual shape isn't it really, but just allows the light to bounce off it a little bit more, that is really, really gorgeous. So these are your puffy ovals, 30 by 20 millimetres. And yet, as well as there being the puffy ovals, they've got like this pinching effect around the outside. There's something about them that gives me... Let's have a look at that image again. Do you start to get the image conjuring up of something a little bit oceanic? I get something a little bit beachy from the way the light plays off, off that. Just... It, it's like when you look at a piece of artwork, people interpret it in different ways, don't they? And see different things. It's going to be the same with the gemstones. Right, let's do a fantastic kit uh, prize for you. VJN G86, they're gemstones and they're £21.95. Now there's only one post and packaging prize for all of your purchases all day. We're going to go over now and see what Max has done with this kit. And have you decided what technique you're going to show to us, Max? Yeah. I'll just leave that thought with him whilst I wander over. <laughs> no, there isn't anything in there, it really is. It's just crimping. Simple, Ooh. simple. Oh, now then, hang on, hang we'll on. Do it. I'm attached. Is that what you I'm mean? Attached to my chair. Okay, so as well as this kit, Max has had a couple of cheeky little sneaky extras yeah. as well. Um, which, being the silversmith he is, we thought he'd be very excited about having. I was. And I was yeah, actually. we thought you would be. So you you're more than welcome. I'd love to take credit. First of all, this amazing heart toggle clasp. That is fab. Isn't that lovely? That heart toggle clasp has yeah. been used here. I made it the feature in a bracelet. Mm. Beautiful. It's nice to have it on a bracelet so it really gets it seen. Because on the back yeah. of the necklace it could get a bit no, lost. No, it's just not there. Yeah, I, I really like that, making your, um, your findings the, the feature. I'm quite like, whoops, was that me? No, that was me. Good. I think I just kicked a pen. I don't quite know how. Um, so, yeah, would you like to talk us through this bracelet then on how yep. you did that one? Uh, basically, it's double strand, uh, a double strand of jewellery thread. Um, hang on, if I just pull that apart there. So, crimped on, it's only crimped on at one end because it's a double strand. So the wire starts in the middle here, and then it goes through, one of the twisted overly things through the large black one and then it separates out. I wanted to try and give this more of a chunky, uh, more of a... A what? A chunky feel to this. And so I thought... Because I could have just um, done single ones, but I thought because these black beads are so wide, I've put the two together so that they, they sort of match in depth and then break it up uh, by, by using the, the pattern, the repeated pattern like... So, and that's it, that's all that there is to it. And then obviously crimp off onto the jump ring here. And when these, when these arrive, you'll see that they come like, it's a mag, how have you done that? Basically. Demonstrate how to take yeah. that apart, is that okay? I'll show you, it's nice and easy. I use two pairs of flat pliers, or if you haven't got that, one pair of flat pliers and one rounds. And what you'll find is this jump ring that holds the two together has got 
a, it's, it's a, an open ring, as we would call it, which means that basically it's not soldered shut. So okay. hold it next to, <laughs> excuse me, find where the, the opening is, find where the break is. This, this is what I mean, it would, it would have started life as part of a spring and then someone would have cut that. And then rather than breaking the, the curve at the bottom, I just take hold of it and twist it away from me slightly. So you see how that's opened that way. And that means that your, um, the bottom curve here of the jump ring stays perfect. So that when I close it, I do the same. It's a bit like closing a door. And then that comes back exactly the same place. And the bottom of your jump ring is still perfectly circular. So that's how you open and close jump rings without, I mean, I imagine that everybody out there is going, man, get on with it, you know, but, you know, some people don't know that. So no, there you go. No, don't worry at all. No, it's There you uh, go. So now you've got your bar and your heart separate. Fab, like and then you would attach them onto that. Yeah. So let's have a look around some of the other pieces that you made with the kit. Yeah. Simple, simple earrings. And you can, you can leave it right there. Okay. Right, Sorry. The camera's got it. No, you don't worry. You're fine. There you go. And yeah, these are the little feature pieces of silver. The, these kind of weather vane type things, and we've got the details of those on the bottom of your screen as well. So the um, little uh, cube pendant. the little uh, pyramid charm. That's five ninety five solid yeah. silver. And How I, cool is that? Above that, you've got then the twisted round bead, which come in a pack of three, and they're eight ninety five. And then of course your your kit can, um, is everything, absolutely everything else. Yeah. It's dead simple. Once again, no um, particularly difficult techniques to, to, to show about this. Just really the, the beads working together. This, you know, the, the black being um, echoed through in the jade and the two, two shapes of jade. So it's pretty much that's it. It's about as difficult as it gets. Yeah, sorry. No, that's great. Again, you know, the gemstones are really, are really, um, really fab. The gemstones are really doing all the work there. Yeah. So thank you so much, Max. Now, we have You're been welcome. able to catch up a little bit on time. Are we able to read through some Wall of Fame? Let's do it. Let's go to the Wall of Fame. So, first one, go ahead. This is number 140. Hello, team. Please find attach my my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's all Labradorite, three strands of some rounds, and was still plenty left over to mix with other gems. Lovely. Hope this is good enough for the Wall of Fame, as I've only been making since September, but I'm completely hooked and need to find an avenue to sell. Lol. Uh, mm -hmm. Great weekend of shows with Fee and Ed, who was great standing and made me buy lots. And that's from <laughs> Beverly in Banbury. Well Beverly, done, Beverly. that's absolutely beautiful. Congratulations. And you are number 140. There you go. 141, it's really stunning blue colours here. And it says, Hi all at JM. Here's my Wall of Fame entry for this week. Um, I made this Sunday afternoon after watching the morning show with Ed and designer Debbie. It was a popular show, wasn't it? Debbie inspired me with her pendant, hence the necklace, which has been made using the blue banded agate from one of my bead boxes. Hope you like it. It's good enough for the Wall of Fame. I would love to win as my wish list is getting longer by the day. And that's from <laughs> Marion in Gloucestershire. Congratulations. And you are 141. 142, this is Beverly. Here's my uh, Wall of Fame entry made with quartz and keshi pearls. Wow. I thought Ed did really well covering feet and I hope she gets better soon. That's from Bev. Thank you, Bev, and I'll send the good well wishes on to Fee. This is really fab. This is one, four, three. Hi, jewelry maker. I attach my entry for this week's Wall of Fame using the rainbow hematite ovals and plaited four different colours of wire to complement the colours of the stones. Please excuse the background of the photograph. I've tried to position the jewelry to capture the sunlight as this hematite looks so good when the light reflects on it. Background's fine, hun, don't worry. And I hope you like it. Kind regards. And that is from Anne. Congratulations, Anne, for making it onto the wall. You are 143. We'll come to some more later. How are you doing with your challenge? Uh, I'm doing all right. Yeah? Thank you. Oh, do you want to see it? Okay. All no, right, no, 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 no. No, that's no, no, right. no. We're, we're saving it. We're saving it. We'll have another look teasing. at this kit. And then I'm going to eat one of your crisps that you offered me before. There you go. Let's have a little look at this. Just look at these. Thank you very much. Product placement. Product placement. 
Why did I do that before going to a break? What an absolute plonker. Yeah, you cut mm -hmm. the rest of it. Mm -hmm. These are stunning all together. It's $21.95, really low price. Beautiful combination of colour. Named by Emily, the Midnight Snowstorm Kit. Do we know if she sent her customer number in? Emily and Salcon Morgan, we need your customer number and able to, um, to scoop hum. VJNG86. With all of your 925 sterling silver, your 50 metres of bead and thread, your 6 metres of elastic, your large and your small organza gift bag, and your monofilament VJN G86. Now, coming up for you after. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a bargain, and that is Crocodile Jasper. We'll see you on the other side of this. Add to your collection with our Silver Art Clay DVD full of handy tips and instructions for all levels. Join guest designer Natalia Coleman in her step-by-step -step guide to make this glamorous inner goddess pendant, featuring a variety of different techniques that will help you develop your skills. To get your hands on a copy, phone our call centre on 0800 644 655. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. And each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their Jewelry Maker account, and the runner up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com. Or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, Limited, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moons Moat, Redditch, B989HF. Good luck and happy jewelry making. This bead box features three strands of red jasper and three strands of aventurine totaling 1,240 carats, all for just $19.95. These earthy tones are great for your autumn collection. To get your hands on this great offer, phone our call centre now on 0800 644 655 and quote the code DFP038. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you. bargain that you might have had before and you might have seen it in the system but we're just drawing your attention to go it's a bargain what is it Claire it's a bargain. now then this is a real wow factor the code is MHT 883 look at all the individual markings on here These are stunning. Twenty millimetre in diameter, so two centimetres. I just, sorry, I, I can't. <laughs> As a jewelry maker myself, this is part of my problem as a presenter of jewelry maker. I get completely distracted and I start off sort of going into, I mean, if the camera was on me, I'd be like that. You know, when you start to imagine your designs. Yeah. Because that for me, the gemstones, they're doing a bit of what Linda was talking about yesterday. They speak to me. Because you've got so much going on there. You're going to be really bowled over by the price. And now look at all those individual markings on here. Masses of individual markings. You've got this is known as the crocodile jasper, and you can certainly see why those colour combinations are stunning. But it's not just the colour combination, it's the natural markings that are going to literally speak to you. Now, how about thinking about putting these with the manager special that's coming up for you in about 20 minutes time? Wow, 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 wow. MHT A83. Big look on these, beautiful colours. And just sort of all your different 
all those different tones. Now, this is approximately a 36 centimetre strand. And it's going back quite quickly. Lots of you shopping uh, on the website today. Congratulations to you. 320 carats in this single strand. It's absolutely exquisite. Beautiful shape, size, combination of colour. You're right, Ed. <laughs> He's flying about like a, a flying thing. It's a lot of things going on, and it's all going to be revealed tomorrow. Do you know what's happening tomorrow? I think I do, but I'm not going to say. Yeah. <laughs> Exciting. So, MHT A83. Two centimeters in diameter. They're really, really fab. Every single one giving you individual marking. That is just breathtaking. 320 carats. You've got 320 carats of this amazing gemstone. You're going to be blown away by the colour. You've got the shape, you've got the size, you've got that impact of natural markings on there. And here you go, and it's all for 7 95 Now that is a bargain. 0800 644 Really low stock to begin with on this one, so it's a case of fastest fingers. There's a sense of urgency. This is a big designer look. A lot of people have gone for it in the past. We're just making you aware that we do have some stocks still available today. MHT A83, £7.95 for that whole complete strand. 20 millimetres in their diameter, two centimetres across. They're fabulous, aren't they? £4.95. Now, that is gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. There's a lot of you there on the phone lines. Well done, folks. Isn't that just, isn't that just scrummy? Aren't you going to make beautiful jewellery out of that? And let's face it, we talk about all the time that you can only be as good as the product you're using. You're going to make some gorgeous jewellery. That is going to set you apart. That's going to make you look like a really good jewellery designer. We're liking that, aren't we? Easier. Job is made easy when you've got good product to work with. That is beautiful. Mwah. Give you a little kiss because you are beautiful. Hi, Karen. Okay, let's just stop the music. <clears throat> it's all about to get a little bit exhausting. We're going to have a really speedy, speedy part to the show. I've got low stock strands. I've got low stock kits. Do you know what we're going to do? Ollie, you've got a little break ready to set up. Is that all right? We go to a little break? Yeah. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself prepared so we can do this even more speedy. I'm going to warn you. What we're going to do now is effectively we're going to clear a lot of stock. Okay? For the next uh, or so, we're going to clear a lot of stock. We're going to do it with, first of all, we're going to do a collection of strands and then we're going to do a collection of kits. I'm going to be really honest, stock quantity ain't great. So there is a sense of urgency on it. Um, You've got some incredible low prices. It's going to be a little bit silly. It's going to be a bit manic. And unfortunately, for the next 15 minutes, I can't guarantee there's going to be stock available for the repeat shows. They're that in demand. They're that low price. Are you ready? I'm getting ready. I'll see you for it on the other side of this. This bead box features six strands of genuine pearls, including chocolate, peacock, mushroom, and cream pearls, all for just £34.95. Give your designs that classic look. To get your hands on this great offer, phone our call centre now on 0800 644 655 and quote the code TAMG89. Jewellery Maker, bringing out the designer in you.
Want to learn about silver clay? Well now you can with our Introduction to Silver Clay Workshop. Run by Natalia Coleman, a professional art clay silver instructor, you will be guided through the techniques handling, shaping, forming and firing pieces of silver clay jewellery. Then, design and create your own jewellery, which you can take home. Tour the studios, meet the presenters, all of this for just £89. The workshop price includes 20 grams of art clay silver, use of all tools, refreshments and lunch. For more information, call our friendly on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker are proud to present our new range of Lisa Pavelka crafting foils. These easy to use foils are a great way to create a unique look to your polymer and silver clay designs. With a wide range of vibrant colours including gold, silver and rainbow, these foils will leave your creations with a wonderful metallic coating. Use alongside our border moulds and textured stamps to add a different dimension to your clay creation. To view our full range of Lisa Pavelka products, visit our website. Okay, this is going to be exhausting. We're going to do really low stock, uh, really low prices. So I hope you've got a piece of paper and a pen at the ready. We're clearing out existing stock, really low. So we're, we're not going to have much time on anything because literally there's so much to get through. I'm going to start off with strands. Are you ready to go? We're going to start with these dark green Keshi, of course, getting its name from the derivative, the Japanese word for poppy seed. We think in sort of in the translation, um, poppy leaves. These are absolutely stunning. Really low price. The code is KOD P75. Right, let's bring in that price. It's nine by eight millimeters each one of these. Uh, one post and packaging price for all of your purchases. They're at nine pounds and ninety-five pence. They're beautiful, but they are really, really, really low stock. KOD P75. Okay, I'm going to move straight on now and we're going to move on to a three strand pack of um, this amazing Black Onyx. Now, this is one of my favourite three strand packs we've ever done. Hold the line there for those. Okay, so here we go. These are massive. Really, really, really massive. Feast your eyes on these ones. Whoa, they're huge. They're absolutely huge. Okay, the code is EYQZ98. Okay, so this is Black Agate. You've got puffy coins, tubes and rice beads. Let's get some sizes for you on these. They were original price on these, I believe, was 19.95. So the sizes are, okay, they're just loading up. Our computer's drive us insane as of tomorrow. Hopefully that won't change. Um, these are, um, sorry, the rice beads are 10 by 28 and the tubes are 15 by 40 and the coins are th so this is a big 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 look and they're 14.95 for all three of them that's working out less than a fiver a strand on each of those eyq z98 they are amazing they are amazing. EYQ Z98. Okay, moving on now to... <sighs> this is a three-strand pack of Fire Agate. Okay, three-strand pack of Fire Agate, where you've got... 10 millimeters and then these are six 10 and six or 10 and oh no six oh now then bear with me a second uh there's just a little mistake on your graphics folks because they are in fact both eight millimeter rounds and a 10 millimeter so it's not six eight and ten it's two lots of eight millimeter and a 10 millimeter and they're 615 carats lots of you there on the phone lines uh so three 
sets here. So you're looking at approximately uh, uh, eight millimeter rounds and 10 millimeter rounds. Great impacts of color, loads of different colors working their way all the way through these chocolate browns into your denim blues. You've got some amazing fiery greens. Stacking up on the phone lines, GOQZ50. I'm sorry to everybody in the repeat shows, low stock, low prices. We're less likely to have have these as we are with other items so but it is really worth a try so GOQ Z five zero and they're ten pounds and ninety five pence on those ones they are wicked ten ninety five on those GOQ Z five zero aren't they wicked ten ninety five for all three strands thank you Caroni okay now this, even though we're doing low stock, let's stop the music. This next strand is amazing. We are really, really low in stock, and you can see in a moment why we are low in stock. It's been really popular. This is Blue Tiger's Eye, so it's Tiger's Eye that gives us this chatoyancy. Talking with Mags about this earlier, the fact that with the chatoyancy here, the way the light plays with the surface of the gemstone, you've got almost like a tiger's eye appeal to it, feel to it. It looks like it looks like an eye, a cat's eye. The colours are beautiful. They're really beautiful. It's like this toffee colour as well. Again, hold the phone lines. We'll be with you as soon as we can. If you're shopping on the website, please do check out your baskets as soon as you can. So there's 225 carats of this golden blue tiger's eye it is absolutely beautiful absolutely stunning just look at that fourteen millimeters in their diameter I see JF two one two hundred and twenty five carats. You can see why this is really limited stock now. Really, really low stock, and these are just fourteen forty five. Really, really, really low stock on those. I see JF two one. They're beautiful. Really beautiful. Look at all those. Oh. See, that is a perfect example of chatoyancy. See that there. Awesome. Cool. Okay, moving now onto it. Now this colour is beautiful. Um, ah, oh, my word. Mother Nature's really good, isn't she? She needs a good. She needs a good little tap on the back. She does. There's almost like when I'm looking at that there. I'm almost seeing like this delicate hue of blue. Fourteen by ten millimeters each. Do you know what? I've got to be honest. I've never presented this gemstone before, and so and and I, I haven't. I haven't, I haven't seen this. This had just passed me by on the list of things today, so I'm sorry I haven't prepared this for you, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I'll always be really honest with you. I'm not going to just make up things for the sake of it because, <laughs> because I won't. 14 by 10 millimetres each. They're lovely. Those colours are gorgeous. I think that could work quite nicely with some porcelain jasper, you know. They're only 8.45 and they're really beautiful. Really, really beautiful. So... Oh, stunning, really stunning. So grab those as soon as you can. Again, the code on those is VSTA05. Right, we're going to move on now to... OK, this is where it starts to get a little bit exciting because it's kyanite. I'll pop this up to the neckline, sorry. <laughs> XJGP65, 20 by 5 millimetres on each of these, just 415 carats. And the nuggets are just really fab, aren't they? You make your designs go even further and just give you lots of different dimensions and textures, again, to the jewellery that you are making. XJGP65, now the kyanite, um, you've got this beautiful sea-like 
Amazing. Really amazing. When carnite was first discovered, it was actually thought another form of blue sapphire had been discovered because it's that similar in colour of uh, some blue sapphires. Stunning, isn't it? Carnite getting its word from the uh, Greek word kynos, meaning blue. Beautiful. XJG P65, but look at that silvery, waxy luster that we have. 20 by five millimeters each, 415 carats on each of these stands. And we are at 7.95 now. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think we launched that Kyanite at that price. Unless this was in a special offer. This Kyanite, just Kyanite at 7.95 doesn't make sense to me. I've, that's an amazing special offer. Really low stock, low prices. Again, if you're hitting the queues, don't worry, we know you're there. It's a free phone number, we'll be with you in a moment. And we're looking at approximately one and a half minutes for the longest wait. Okay, so some of you will be answered a lot quicker than that, but it's a free phone number. Okay, we're going to move on to, for those of you who've seen the show for some time now, you'll be well aware that this is one of my favourite gemstones. It really reminds me of marbling when I was at school. Yeah. Of, of the Imperial Jasper, sorry. Oh. Yeah, I want to do both. Is that all right? Thanks. It's just I think there's, look, I mean, the amount of people that have just started calling for this immediately, it's just popped up on the lines. We're looking at rich, deep, intense fuchsia that is wow. I've got another strand of it as well, which I'll bring to you straight after, and that's the puffy oval. So these are the rice beads. And there's something about, have you ever seen the paper beads made from marble paper? They're amazing. They are amazing. It's like these, um, they're like, I suppose it would be maybe a take on paper mache. Some of you probably out there know the technique and I'm really sorry I don't know that technique. I have seen them. They are them and they're stunning. If you were to wear them in the rain, that would be probably a bit of a problem. Oh, we could wear these in the rain. You've got that longevity of them. It's a really sought after pattern that people have started to try and recreate it, even using marble paper. And the individual patterns on there are really pretty as well. And you've almost got like this golden river uh, popping through. 200 carats of genuine jasper. 200 carats of this imperial jasper. And so you're going to get approximately 13 pieces on a strand there as well. Okay, really low stock, low price. GWG P04. And they, oh my word, $7.95 now. I have those. I think we'll have those. I think we'll have those in the basket. I think we'll get that phone number. Good afternoon, everybody. If you, oh, actually, good morning. We're five minutes away. We've got a lot to get through before our manager's special as well. Apologies, our manager's special may be a little later than originally decided at 12, because I think, quite honestly, it's worth it for all the bargains, isn't it? Don't give up on the phone lines. Hold the line. We've got a lot of big team ready to take your calls there. So that's that Imperial Jasper there. OK, puffy ovals with the Imperial Jasper could work with it. And in fact, you could have a necklace of ghost rice bead, another bead, puffy, um, puffy oval, other bead. That's 30 by 15 millimetres each one. JNG P63 is the code. Look at those. Ha oh, oh. Really, really stunning. And again, they're only $7.95. Now, we've got a sizable pink Imperial Jasper there. Again, low stock, really low price, fastest people to get them. Once they've gone, they've gone. JNG P63. Here at Jewelry Maker, we do a lot of exclusive lines of strands. You don't tend to see the same strands once they've sold out coming back into stock. So if you're loving this, I can't guarantee we'll have it again at these sizes. They are beautiful. Really, really, really stunning. Okay, which one? Okay, moving on now to the Moo Kite. Now, stopping the music for just a second because I do have a strand here that is substantially shorter than our others, but there's a reason for it. On these strands which are shorter, rather than going for quantity, we've really gone for the quality. And these are faceted Moo Kite. It's going to approximately 15 centimetre strand. Amazing Moo Kite. Faceted quality mookite we don't have this very often and you know that because you watch the show you know that that this you know you are looking at something a little extra special 
Now with them being um, top drills, so you've got that little dangle, look how many are able to be packed on there in a 50 metre strand. You mean you could just do delicate little earrings out of this. JBC R18 and they are beautiful faceted little drops. Look at that. Now you've got almost like this, it's like a really deep, rich brick red, isn't it? With this paprika, again, it's that paprika. I'm loving the paprika tones there. And then this mustardy tones. Right, so lots of you on the phone lines, let's get that price in again. It's low prices, really speedy section to the Mookite from the Mooka Creek in Australia, directly from there, 11 95 It's a bargain. What is it, Claire? Bargain. It's a bargain. Uh, JBC R18. Are you all right, Max? You've been very quiet. I'm just um, fiddling Can't. around with my finding. Fiddling around with his finding. Hey, <laughs> Mal. 11.95 on those. Okay, moving on now to the final. It's not, it's not beautiful like that. It's lovely, with a beautiful isn't it? gold toggle clasp. Oh. It's just like you're doing with the pearls earlier. It's that yeah. pre cut yeah. type thing. Mwah. Okay, moving now to our final strand, and then we're going to go to really low stock, low price kits, okay? <sighs> 185 carats. 185 carats of sardonics. And they are these lovely saucer shapes, so you're not looking at wheels where they'd be um, sort of really uh, formed on the side. You, they're not... Um, they're not rondelles, these are saucer shapes. So it just gives again a different dimension. Look at that variety of colour and natural. Oh, now then, what an image. That's really, look at all the different patterns on all of these. XGG P83. So they're 8 by 5 millimetres each. 7 95 for that strand. I think we're doing a bit of shopping today, aren't we? Who's cursing? Who's cursing the fact that you started watching the, shop, uh, the show today? XGG P83, 185 carats. Okay, are you ready now? Right, hang on, I'm not. You might be, I'm not. Let me have a slurp of my tea. <laughs> Do you know what I had a dream about last night? I was working in Roy's Caf on Coronation Street. <laughs> I made someone a bacon butty in Roy's Caf. Where did that dream come from? Who did I make? I don't know who I made it for. No, Owen was in the cafe. Becky was in the cafe. I did watch Coronation Street double bill last night. Do you know apparently she's got dark hair in real life now? Yeah. Yeah, Ollie's got a bit of a thing for her by the way he's talking. He's going, she's amazing. Yes, and she's, <laughs> she's she's fantastic, isn't she? I think she, I think she'd be my friend in real life. Mm. I think Peter Andre would as well. I think if Peter Andre and Becky from Coronation Street met me, I'd... right, moving on. <laughs> Low stock kits. Okay. <sighs> Have you got a piece of paper and a pen at the ready? Seriously, because on the go, this is going to go bonkers. Let's stop the music. Max, can I just borrow you for a second yeah. for a bit of a drum roll? Are you ready for the low stock kits? Are you ready? I've got no coordination. Do you see how my right hand can go? My left's like that. <laughs> no coordination since I stopped dancing. I can't do it anymore. Right, ready? Fast paced music. Let's go. Do, 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 do. <laughs> a bit Mr. Motivator, a bit Rosemary Connolly. Come on. Mr. Motivator, I've still got his video of bums, legs, and thumbs. <laughs> right, okay, let's do it then. This is uh, the Cool Waters kit. It is beautiful. You have Larimar in this kit, real genuine Larimar from the Dominican Republic. And then you've got this amazing agate. These are big drums. And then Jasper playing round to eight millimetres. Feast your eyes on this. These nuggets are real 
Larimar. Wow, 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 wow. Have you seen the price of Larimar jewellery? I know a lot of you have actually emailed and texted in before and put on Facebook the fact that you've been to the Dominican Republic on holiday. You've been to the place where it's from and you've bought jewellery out there that cost an absolute fortune. Look at the size of these big agate drums. You're going to get approximately 17 of those drums. You've got 90 centimetres of the genuine Larimar, which is really impressive. And I really would go to town on advertising that if you make jewellery from it that you're selling. And then these Jasper are stunning. Do you know what would look amazing with this? Do you know what would be really fabulous with this? The manager special, which we're running late on, uh, but we'll be bringing to you very shortly. They'd look amazing with it, wouldn't they? Oh, bear that in mind. Okay, cool waters. Let's then have a look at. Oh, wow. Okay, 38 of 925 sterling silver, 34 components, so 10 headpins, 10 crimp beads, 3 bolt ring clasps and jump rings, 2 pairs of shepherd hooks, and 10 of your jump ring, further jump rings as well. 6 metres of clear elastic, 50 metres of beading thread, a large and a small organza gift bag in there as well, all for less than £20. Right. Go for it. You've got a 30-day money-back guarantee on absolutely everything. The code is KRGP65. Aren't those colours stunning? You could really, you could do a knitted bracelet. And I tell you what, if Sarah, one of our regular viewers out there um, on Facebook, is around today, Sarah from the school where I did the charity auction as well, hiya, can you do me a favour? Can you post one of your pictures of your knitted bracelets? They are inspiring, they're amazing. And they're, they're done using nuggets. And you'd be able to, ah, oh, gorgeous. Genuine Larimar bracelet with those, beautiful. All that silver's coming your way, and it'll come to you in a small organza gift bag. The whole kit will come in your large organza gift bag. You'll have 50 metres of the silver colour beading thread, 6 metres of the elastic and the large and the small organza gift bag. And moving on now to HPG Port... Uh, HPG P49. need this kit. Mm. Oh. Whoa. Isn't that amazing? Wow. That's Isn't crazy. that just stunning? Wow. Okay, let's have a look at these. Genuine silver nugget pearls. And then, amazing golden obsidian fusted rounds. These eight millimeter rounds, those are 110 carats. Look, so those are what you're getting in terms of genuine gemstone. That pendant is stunning. It's a handcrafted shell pendant. It's massive. Five and a half centimetre, 56 millimetres in diameter by 52 millimetres in its depth, and that's an 18 centimetre hole. And what you've got here is it's backed onto shell. You've then got handcrafted shell on top, which I believe have then been set with possibly a resin. Looks like a resin, doesn't it? Oh, it's stunning. And then this amazing polish all over the top. Okay, you've got all of the silver as well. 10 headpins, 10 crimp beads, two pairs of the um, butterfly backs with earring, uh, sorry, with, yeah, your earring posts and then butterfly backs, and then two bot ring clasps and jump rings as well. HPG P49, the code HPG P49, put it into the website now because this kit is less than £20. Again, one post and packaging price for all of your purchases. I know we're running late with the manager special, but hopefully you're just loving these. And I've got, oh, now we're going to go down the route of gold findings on this one. I haven't had any in today's show. YEGP19. Yeah. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful, it's beautiful, it's beautiful, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. You're going to have, because you've got gold findings, it's nine carat yellow gold on top of 925 sterling silver gold findings. If you've just tuned in, low stock, low prices. If you're watching a repeat show, please, please, please make sure you're still trying. Okay, so that's your gold beading thread. Pardon, Kim, what did you just say? Yeah? And what else did you say? You need to get this, it's going under £20. You've got the equivalent of four strands because this strand of this beautiful golden mutilated quartz is 90 centimetres. Look at that overall beauty. Oh. 
This is the black onyx squares. There's 100 carats of those. They're 10 millimetres. You've got, right, start dialing for this. This is black onyx. They're amazing. And then look at that golden shell. Wow! They're measuring 15 by 20 millimetres each. And these black onyx squares are 10 millimetres in their diameter. So there's 250 carats of golden rutilated quartz. They're going from 5 by 2 up to six millimeters now this is 925 sterling silver with a nine carat yellow gold overlay you've got 10 headpins 10 crimp beads two pairs of shepherd hooks and two bolt ring class and jump rings you've then got 50 meters of the gold color beading thread six meters of clear elastic a large and a small organza gift bag and these gemstones are stunning and you get it all for 17.95 now that is one of the best deals on the show today get it seriously get that it's yeg p19 This is called the Autumn Lace Kit. 24 pieces uh, of 925 sterling silver. It's 28 individual pieces, 24 components. And then our final, our final kit is this one. Uh, the code is ZMGP39, okay? Oh, this is, this is called Class Act. I don't know why I felt the need to do that, like an impression of my mother. No, she, she doesn't even do that. Yeah. I don't... <laughs> Thank you for that. Kim just said, I think you need a break. Yeah, <laughs> I think you're right. Okay, solid 925 sterling silver with a 9 carat yellow gold. Look at this. I've not seen this before either. This is snake skin, which is the um, printed shell. And then you've got 10 headpins. Oh, look. 10 headpins. Uh, right, stop the music. How many have we got in stock, Kim? Right, these are all going to sell out in seconds. And they're all at least going to be allocated out in seconds. Look at your gemstones. Printed shell with that snake print. You've then got this amazing, look at this golden opposite. Well, look at your findings first off then. 10 headpins, 10 crimp beads. Two pairs of shepherd hooks, two bolt ring class and jump rings. You've got ten balls in there as well. That is solid 925 stone in silver with a nine carat yellow gold overlay on the balls. They're four millimeter in their diameter. These gemstones are stunning. Look at this golden obsidian. Look at that. You've got a full 38 centimeter strand. These are amazing. You've then got Stunning, please check out your baskets if you're shopping on the website, folks. Please check out your baskets. And then you've got this gorgeous shell, printed shell. Oh, and the price is 17 95 Remember your findings. And you've got the 50 metres of the gold colour beading thread, 6 metres of elastic, a large and small organza gift bag. But I don't know about you, I need to go and have a little sleep and, uh, and a piece of cake and a cup of tea. I'll see you in a tick. Manage special on the other side of this. Yeah. New to jewellery making? Why not come and join us on our Beading for Beginners course? Join guest designer Cherry Green as she takes you through all the basic techniques to create your very own necklaces, earrings and bracelets. I'll be there to help you every step of the way. There's no pressure. It's all about fun and enjoying yourself and one-to-one -one tuition. You will learn a variety of skills, all of which will help you to become a jewellery maker. During the course of the day, you will get to have a backstage tour of the studios, meet the presenters and have a trip to our jewellery shop. The full course includes beading thread, a generous scoop of mixed gemstones, 925 sterling silver findings pack, use of all relevant tools, lunch and refreshments, all for just $79.95. For details of course dates and availability, phone our call centre now on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker, bringing out the designer in you. The Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. And each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their Jewellery Maker account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewellerymaker.com. Or you can post your photos to... Wall of Fame, Coloured Rocks Limited, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moons Moat, Redditch, B989HF. Good luck and happy jewellery making.
add to your collection with our Wirework DVD, which is full of hints, tips and step-by-step -step instructions for all levels. Join guest designer Laura Binding as she takes you through how to create the Tree of Life, the Herringbone Weave and many more. To get your hands on a copy, phone our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you. It's no longer low stock kits, by the way, it's a manager special. <laughs> I love these. We've never had a shot like this before, have we? Where we've got these big, chunky wheels and rondelles. It's like getting two in one, isn't it? You, do you know what you could do? Ah, uh, golden brown, texture like sun, lay me down. Except uh, when I was younger, I didn't realise that it was golden brown. I thought it was Gordon Brown. <laughs> Texture like sun. Oh, bless. So, this is bronzite wheels. So, the description on the website is golden brown, texture like sun, hence why we're singing it. 18 by 12 millimetres and 18 by six millimetres. And that's your thickness. So they've got, these are big pieces, big chunky pieces. I'll show you from this end, and you can get probably a bit of a better idea of perspective. So that's almost two centimetres in its diameter. Now look at your individual markings on here. No two are going to be the same. And that's the appeal of using genuine gemstones. And they're going to give you so many design ideas and sort of ideas of what to put with them, depending on the different hues saturation of colour that you get in each of the individual gemstones. SSG P60. Oh, I'm seriously got. <laughs> are you all right, Max? Yeah. I just said, uh, are you thinking? Yeah. Do you know, I'm so glad you do that because I do exactly the same, but I do it when I'm presenting as well. <laughs> so he's literally, he's looking okay. at the gemstones like this. I'm trying to figure out how to do something. <laughs> <laughs> I was showing this and suddenly Ollie just went, is Max all right? Is he all right? You're thinking. So you've got your bronzite wheels measuring 18 by 6 and then these amazing um, rondelles. Sorry, the wheels being 18 by 12 and the, um, we <laughs> the wheels... The wheels being 18 by 12, the rondelles going 18 by 6. Now, we've not had a strandling like this before, I don't think. Anyone in the crew, do you think we've ever had a strand like this one before? No, that's the general consensus. Oh, apologies folks, my mic has to be cut every now and again. I've really got a sneeze brewing. Oh, you can guarantee it's going to happen mid-sentence. 1,300 carats. Now, the code is there on your screen, so you can already start allocating to your basket on the website, and, of course, you can start dialing for it. We've already got people on the phone lines. Let's um, pop this up to the neckline, shall we? That is amazing just in its own right. Do you know who'd love using this strand? That's got Debbie written all over it. That's it. And that is really fab as it is. It might be just to pop in maybe some of the um, the black lava rock that we had 
in the first kit, actually, because I don't think you'd want to add much weight to it. <gasps> oh, yeah, some little gold, those um, little gold balls would be lovely. Nice, eh? And then you could be literally take the take more of these off the strand. You wouldn't need to be using all of them because that's t that's actually um, joining at the back of my neck. One thousand three hundred carats. Okay, I think the sneeze is gone. SSG P six Z eighteen by twelve, eighteen by six. They're twelve ninety five. This is a massive, massive, massive carat weight. We don't see a lot of bronzite on the show at the moment, so it's great for us to be able to go. Here you are. I have one thousand three hundred carats of it. It's not like it's just a snippet of it. It's fabulous. Really fabulous. SSG. P60, 12 pounds and 95 pence. One thousand three hundred carats. Okay, just to confirm to you as well, we mentioned earlier we were hoping to have another silver findings pack heavily reduced during the show as the other one was more or less all allocated. We have slightly more of another one available for you. We'll be bringing it to you very shortly. SSG P60. But coming up for you next, I'm going to have a little moment to have some water and regroup. And then we're going to be doing our final new kit of the show. I just got back from Kenya and while I've been away there seems to be a little bit of confusion arose about the word jade. Now in China jade is a, used ter a term used as a collective name for many different gemstones. Uh, I wrote in my book and in our online learning library that jade is a term used for nephrite and jadeite. That is two gemstones that are commonly used around the world and people class as the word jade. In China though, there seems to be a lot more stones that they're using uh, under, the, under the label jade and that's absolutely fine because uh, jade again is a collective name for many different gemstones. Also expect to see now the word quartzite jade and dolomite jade and, and maybe others will come out because uh, what we're learning more and more about the Chinese market is that for thousands of years they've used the word jade collectively for not just the two gemstones that I originally wrote about but for many, many gemstones. Um, so absolutely fine, carry on using your jade. We'll probably relabel it actually in the UK as Chinese jade. Uh, and as we find out more and discover different gemstones that they're using in China under the word jade, we'll keep the website updated. I just got back from Samburu in Kenya. Now at the moment there's a bit of a drought. In fact, the it seems to be more of a, a reoccurring effect because of global warming. Uh, the riverbeds are dried out uh, and people are struggling to find water. Uh, the schools are already built there. It's a little bit different to our projects in Zambia. In Kenya, there are already schools. The problem is they're half full. And the reason they're half full is the children are spending all day walking around trying to find water for the family. So we're going to put, start out a new project in conjunction with Earthwatch where we can do a lot of investigation to find a sustainable way uh, of giving uh, the community fresh water on a regular basis. Uh, in the interim, because that's going to take a long time to get going, I'm going to start a new appeal. Uh, don't forget that Kenya is English speaking, it used to be an English colony, uh, and all these kids are coming back from school but they haven't got many textbooks, there's no internet, it's going to be a long time until there's internet and television in these rubles in these sort of very rural areas. So what I want to do is I want to start a library. We're going to build a library straight away uh, out there in Kenya. Uh, so I want to start the Samburu Library Appeal. If you've got any books in English that you think would be useful uh, for uh, school children from the age of five up, uh, send them here to the Library Appeal at Jewelry Maker and we'll make sure that they go into our brand new library out there in Kenya. Once again, it would be amazing if you could send in any of your books to that appeal. I brought in a car, uh, literally a, a, a 
I brought in a car load this morning in the boot of my car. I've still got loads more from all my neighbours. So ask around if you can as well. Um, and we'll just try and get as many books out there as we possibly can. And then, of course, um, Steve is constantly working towards various different charity work and sustainable projects to be able to get easier access to water as well. So, um, Ollie, shall we sort it? Yeah, we're going to try and get, if we can, quite a lot of us. I would absolutely love to, and Claire's saying the same as well. And Ollie, we're going to try and go out as well and see if we can actually go and do some of the manual labour as well of, um, of building the school. Because I'm going out to Sierra Leone, hopefully in July, uh, to go and help for an orphanage there for a few weeks. Um, and we're... Um, we're going to go and rebuild. I'm going to learn some skills while I'm out there, actually. Some building skills. And I'm going to go and um, rebuild part of the accommodation block in Sierra Leone for, um, for an orphanage out there. So, yeah, it would be great if we could go out to Kenya. If you can help with that appeal, your help would be so, so utterly appreciated. We're going to move on now to a kit called Wicked Lady. <laughs> That's okay. Wicked Lady. Cool, isn't it? Oh. Look at the colour bang of this. It's a real colour bang. And the fact that I think at the moment colour is discussed a lot. Now, whether we like it or not, the fashion industry, the jewellery industry is hugely influenced by what happens on the red carpet and also what happens on the, the catwalks. I don't know if you've seen any of the footage at the moment of all the styles that were seen on the red carpet, the Golden Globes. Uh, it was, um, have you not seen any of it yet? Um, I was watching it on E! Channel last night, actually. Um, yeah, yeah, totally. And it's um, you, you just get there interviewing lots of people about what they're wearing and, and the sort of styles around. And I think that could really help just to get give you a bit of a heads up with the jewellery that's going to be really in demand if you're going to be selling it. Colour, very plain, quite simple outfits on the most part. All about colour jewellery. Big bringing in colour with the jewellery, big statement pieces. So let's have a look here. First of all, we've got some of this beautiful, very delicate Chinese jade rondelles, and they are very, very, very pretty. It's like this deep raspberry colour. Raspberry Chinese jade, and they're measuring four by two millimetres. So the size on those is really useful, really, really pretty. And we're going to come into Max's designs for this in just a moment, actually. A-H-N-G-2-8. Okay, so we've got that lovely strand there. We're then moving, look at these now. These are big and it's really fab actually because again it's Chinese jade but look how different it looks when it's this big, 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 big size. And this has been dyed the cherry pink colour. Now I've got to... Oh, okay. I've got to warn you, we hardly have any stock of this kit. So it's it's a case of you're gonna have to shop a bit quicker on this. And then this gorgeous agate. Look at this. Look at the colours of the pinks on this. AHNG28. These are Marquise shape agate. They're 45 by 25 millimetres each, and you're going to have approximately seven of those on a strand. So this is Chinese jade and agate. And then we've also got your 95 sterling silver. 10 head pins, 10 crimp beads, two pairs of shepherd hooks and three bolt ring clasps and jump rings. AHNG28, this is called the Wicked Lady Kit. Now within this one, of course, you've got two big strands with all of that silver. You've then also got um, 20 metres of the monofilament six 
meters of the uh, clear elastic and 50 meters of the silver colored beading thread. The silver colored beading thread. So silver colored beading thread, six meters of elastic, a large and a small organza gift bag, 20 meters of the monofilament. You've got then three strands of genuine gemstones, two strands of Chinese jade, one of which is the raspberry pink measuring four by two millimeters, the other of which is the cherry pink and they are 25 millimeters. And then you've got the pink agate in here as well. And that pink agate marquee's cut 45 by 25 millimeters each. Okay, good luck everybody. This is a case that, just so you know, it's on an introductory offer. It was supposed to be at $27.95. Your introductory, in, introductory, introductory offer. I don't know for how long we're going to be able to keep it at this price, but here we go. It's at $24.95. That is a big, 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 big carrot weight. Just so you know, you're getting over a thousand carats of genuine gemstones in that kit. Over a thousand carats, AHNG28. 24.95 so that's an introductory offer 27.95 for the original price they are big gemstones over a thousand oh now then uh just bear with me a second i think the maths have actually gone a little bit ski whiff on that so five six seven eight nine hundred and 20 965 carats sorry i'd just like to um take back what i've just said it's 925 carats 900 and just bear with me a second five six seven eight hundred eight hundred and ninety eight hundred nine hundred and sixty five carats 965 carats of genuine gemstones 965 carats that's a massive carat weight three bottom class and jump rings 10 head pins two pairs of shepherd hooks and 10 crimp beads okay let's go over to max and he's going to do a fab demo for us would you like to have this um kit here to do your demo with sure sure <coughs> oh sorry that's uh squeaking well what am i doing here <laughs> Now then, there we go. I've got yeah. all my wire attached. Okay, well, talk us through. So your brief with this one was ignore all the all your silver findings. You don't have to use all the silver findings. You don't have nope. to use everything up, but go for one amazing wire factor piece. Yep. And here it is. What an incredible carrot weight this necklace will have. Yes, indeed. Have you used every single gemstone? I have. I think I had a few of the, the tiny little rondelles left. Wow, wow. Yes. What an impact that makes. What a huge impact. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, but basically I just went all out and got it all out. And uh, my, my inspiration to, was to start, was to see how these leaf shapes would sit together uh, and to try and incorporate that, that there. But obviously, uh, this, this so is the So the actual leaf process. shapes try and create the leaf shape? Yeah, to try and hold wow. those, but because because of gravity, they 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 didn't okay. sit like that, and I realised, yeah. Wow. So, um, and then I thought, well, how if they're going to hang, then how can I make them hang properly? And so that's why the this has got the this, these these have got one each, and then this has got a little extra bit so that, that oh, can sit see. as it I falls. It can yeah. sit in between there, and then. Obviously, a kind of a pyramidal shape. Got you, got you, got and this, you. Yeah, and this was the, the standout bead. It had the most elaborate markings. It doesn't really show up under the light, but it's got these kind of stripes and very dark, purpley look. And these ones looked, you know, they were pairs, matched pairs. So once again, I've done the thing about take out your um, your uh, centerpiece one, you know, find the one if you want to use a feature one, and then make matched pairs. I uh, could have done earrings, but in the end I decided to just use all of them in mm -hmm. one statement necklace. And I, I, I quite like wah, I quite like how it turned <laughs> that wah out. That was because uh, I nearly Max knocked everything off. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, uh, yeah, and it, it was good fun. It took it took a while to figure out how to make it um, balance, but 
I think it turned out all right. So the, the balance has worked because two of the strands, so two strands are longer than this one here. Yeah. But with this, in order to make it fall correctly, you've done the opposite. So you've got two of these and two of those, whereas you've got two of those and three of those there. Yeah. And then longer, I'm hoping this is making sense for you, in the middle strand that's going through here, you have longer portions of the uh, raspberry Chinese jade. Yes. Fab, fab. Okay, so um, are you going to be demoing that for us? Well, if you if you would like to see it, yes, please. Uh, it's it's just really a case of um, threading beads and laying it out and um, working it out with it all in front of you. It, it helps if you've got a table or something to work on. It might not be one that you could do when it's sat on your lap. But there you go. So long, three long pieces. The other thing is because we can see this, we don't have to put the gemstones on now. I'm just intrigued to see how this is going to work, or maybe you do need to put the gemstones on. As in, do we have? Yeah. Right. Do you do you thread this on first? What I what I did. If it's easier just to talk it through, you oh, can okay. just talk it through. All right, I'll just take this this strand off so you can see basically where I began. So the first thing to do is I'd say this is the most elaborate one, or that one perhaps, and these two are a pair and this two is a pair, and maybe these two are a pair. Okay, great. So this will be my centerpiece. Oh, okay. And then I'd sat these together like this. And what I actually wanted to do was go the other way, you know, to have three strands coming in and one strand in the middle, and I realized that wasn't gonna work. So for the, pretty much the same reason that this has ended up the way it has. So I turned oh, it around. I yeah. And then because of the way they were sitting, I realized that this, here, you see, there's gonna, if these all connect to the same place, this one's gonna have to connect further away. So the, it starts to take shape, just sitting there playing with the gems. And I'm thinking, right, okay. Need a few more of the small beads here, and I kind of worked it out by laying them out. And then, uh, and then from that, I was able to see how many, you see, these are really close but they need to dangle a bit, mm. you see? Mm. So you end up turning it like this, and then you work out, just by laying things out, how many beads you're gonna need in between there and there and there. Then once you've got that figured out, it's a case of just threading. I made this whole centerpiece first. I threaded the beads through there, so like one bead there, and I figured out that it would be about three of the small jade in between. So I took that number three, and use three here again. And then once I had that laid out, I could figure out roughly how many beads. It's about 11 on either side of that. And it's about eight, this length here. Ob obviously, you measure it out for yourself, but I found it's about eight or nine of the small beads there, and then one each. And then the most difficult bit, to be honest, is getting three strands of beading thread through these small beads, mm -hmm. so it can be a bit fiddly. <clears throat> but uh, but that's it really, once again, it's just bead threading rather than any elaborate weaving and technique. And so I take it you've put all the three strands? All three strands through go there. through these, okay. yeah, and then they're crimped off. The good thing with this, this kit is they've got quite wide crimp beads. Yeah, they have, yeah, and that's something that we've really addressed and looking into in the new kits that are coming in. You'll notice your crimp beads are allowing the opportunity for more wires to go through, and even some of the cores actually will pop through some of those as well. Yeah. What a fabulous design, thank you so much. That's, um, You're welcome. And sort of giving you the idea about playing with shape, yeah. not just the, the colour and the size of the gemstone, but playing around with creating those shapes. We'll get that photographed and put up onto the website. Right now, Lo, You're welcome. it's time for your designs. Let's go to the Wall of Fame. Like to go first? Yes, number 144 from Samantha. There you oh, go. Well Samantha, done. that's gorgeous. Uh, that's chunky, that is. It is indeed. Chunky. And this one is 145. And this comes from Barbara. Beautiful use of the uh, magnesite there. Stunning. 145. Now you'll see the wall of fame like this today. Oh, what might be happening? Oh, can't say. 
So the kit you can see behind me here is absolutely gorgeous. It's called the Wicked Lady Kit. We've got 25 pieces. I'd love to go back to the middle and show it all to you here, but my kit's just all uh, I've right just in front shredded of me there. It, yeah. <laughs> ten headpins, ten crimp beads, two pairs of shepherd hooks, three bot ring class and jump rings. And your 50 meters of beading thread, 20 meters of the monofilament, six meters of clear elastic, and a large and a small organza gift bag. Remember, one post and packaging price covers all of your purchases all day today here at Jewelry Maker. Also, everything that you can purchase on Gems TV Extra and on Gems TV A H N G 28. So stay with us because coming up on the other side of this break, we've got more to bring to you, including another fantastic, ridiculous price reduction on a fantastic, ridiculously amazing pack of silver. See you in a tick. This bead box consists of six strands of genuine pearls, including bronze, peach, pink and white pearls, all for just $34.95. Bring a touch of class to your designs. To get your hands on this great offer, phone our call centre now on 0800 644 655 and quote the code ETMG80. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer. Jewelry Maker are proud to introduce Lisa Pavelka Water Slide Transfers. These transfers are sure to enhance your silver and polymer clay designs. Each pack contains an extensive collection of images from Art Deco to symbols and nature print. These easy to use sheets will come with full instructions and tips for use. They are a great way to embellish all of your creations. Use alongside our border moulds and textured stamps to add a different dimension to your clay creation. To view our full range of Lisa Pavelka products, visit our website. Add to your collection with our Chainmail DVD, which is full of hints and tips and step-by-step -step instructions for all levels. Join guest designer Debbie Bolford and learn some fascinating techniques including Byzantine, box weave and many more. To get your hands on a copy, phone our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Okay, so earlier on in today's show, we brought quite an exceptional, exciting opportunity for you regarding silver. We have been inundated with requests for another silver findings pack, so that's what we're going to do now. This is the Heart and Flowers. I think it's fair to say that this is one of the most requested uh, silver findings packs that we've ever done for you. Should we have a look at the image of it? We've got 10 crimp beads, 10 ball head pins, 10 eye pins, um, a three ring silver slider clasp, a beautiful heart bead, seven inches of 925 sterling silver chain, three of the flower connectors, and it all comes in the organza gift bag. Now, just so you know, the previous price on this was $24.95. <coughs> Excuse me. If we could do these on silver weight, you'd be amazed. Remember what we were talking about with Mags earlier. There's already people calling in. Original price was $24.95. This silver heart alone, now please do yourselves a favour and have a look how much you could pay for that as a pendant to pop on a silver chain in other jewellers. Now this has been hallmarked for you as well. It's hallmarked on the back. It's a weighty piece. You've then also got, I mean, let me show to you this hammered chain. I'll just take it out of the bag. This we're getting this already. AFG P99. The original price was $24.95. Look at that. It's the hammered look, so it's got, you know, amazing texture on it. AFG P99.
AFG P99. Oh, look, do you know what? I don't even know what to say. This is such a good deal that we're about to do and it is going so quickly. Things like this make my job as a presenter so much easier because it sells itself. It's obviously an amazing deal. It's obviously an amazing deal. Thirty of these packs have just flown out. Ten head pins and ten eye pins, and just so you know, with your eye pins as well, they are a slightly more um, harder silver. So if you want to do, what well, what would your recommendation be with this, Max? You're the you're the expert on this. So with the ball head pins, they yeah. are sort of a slightly more malleable silver, and this one here has been hard. Hardenized in comparison, do you well, think? Yeah, it's yeah, it's it's hardened. I mean, if you want to see hardened. the hardened, yeah, it's if you want to see the technique about how to. Um, so that, if I grab you um, yeah, a ball head, a ball pin, head pin. I was talking about. I the, do talk about this trick. quite frequently on air. So that, that's a bit that's a bit bendy, as you can see. So if I straighten that back out again, and you this can is see the that, ball head pin. Yeah, so you see that I, to, if if I hold that and I flick it, you can see that it doesn't bend. Yeah. It's got okay. a lot of spring in it, whereas this one, if I straighten it out and I do the same, there you go, you get a bend in it, so. Okay, so yeah. if we didn't want that to happen. So if you don't want that to happen, if you want to harden it, uh, what I would do is hold it with a, two pairs of flats, but I'm, I couldn't find another pair of flats just off hand. So hold it, grab the end and pull, so you're stretching it and turn 180, and then turn a second 180. So you give it a full 360 twist, and now you see, you can even hear it, ding, 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 ding. You see, that's now what's called work hardened. Okay, brilliant. So there you go. And that's, Thank that's you. work hardening, um, annealed silver. I mean, it's still, it still is flexible, it's silver. If you want to keep going, you can keep going, but. And you could actually make that poker straight, could yeah, you? Yeah, you could, I mean, the way, the way that, the, Look, can I just accepted. say, I'm sorry to interrupt you, Maz. This is really flying off the shelves. It's being allocated, literally going out in tens of time. We've got lots of people, multiple buying on this. Yeah. And when you see the price of it, you're going to want more than one. So for me, the way that we're, the, when, when you're studying, when, you, when you're training, they show you to pull, give a good hard, put it in a, in a vice or a clamp, or just if you're holding it by hand, just give it a good pull and twist it. And there you go, that's, that's straightened it. Sorry, Thank I you. whipped it out of shot again there. Thank you very much. No worries. Max. You can actually hear when it hits the table. It's yeah. just hardened as well. So you're gonna get 10 of the head pins, 10 of the eye pins. You're gonna be getting uh, 10 of the crimp beads, a slider clasp, and it's a beautiful slider clasp. People are stacking up there on the phone lines. Obviously, big in demand. We're gonna be doing a price reduction down for 24.95, which was amazing anyway. This slider clasp, works as so and you've got the uh, three rings on either side we then also got that beautiful i mean how much would you be expected to pay for this anywhere else the chain and the chain is seven inches if we were to individualize you know if we were to say look at all the individual bolt rings uh, sorry the jump rings attaching all of the loops of the chain as well and there afg <coughs> excuse me P99, this is the Heart and Flowers Findings Pack. Best of luck. <laughs> it's just ridiculous, it's 17.95. Right, bye, 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 bye. Because that, as jewelry makers, is a must have. 24.95, I can't guarantee we'll be able to do this at 17.95 again. It was originally 24.95. We obviously haven't bought this in from any suppliers today. This was bought in some time ago and the price was reduced. Now apparently the price was supposed to have gone back up on this one after we were on special offer as well. 17.95, get it whilst it's on offer today. It might go, it might go back up again. It's on special offer and special offers folks, you go anywhere, you go in the supermarket, you can pay X amount for a tin of beans one day, they're on a different special offer the next day, and the next day they're back up again. So you've got to take offers while they're there. This is an offer, take it. 17.95, the code is AFGP99. That is amazing.
OK, we're going to do a little bit of a bargain again for you here. Um, how are we doing on the phone lines there, Kimberly? OK, just bear with us on the phone lines. Um, it's flying out, but we have still got stock available for you. If you're watching the repeated show, just hold the lines as well. Uh, we should have stock available for you. We've got substantially more stock of that one than we do of the other silver pack that we had earlier in the show. OK, my final... Is it my final bargain of the day? <sighs> Look at these! Please don't eat your gemstones. <laughs> You're kidding me! OK. OK. Um, huh. I honestly don't think we've done a strand like this before. Well, I, I have never presented a strand like this before at the price we're about to do. It was originally £14.95, just so you know. Originally £14.95. It's pretty fair. Yeah. Forget that. Originally 14 and we're going to take more than a fiver off. Come on, come on. This is wicked. Now you have these amazing pieces of Botswana agate. Amazing pieces. Look at all the individual markings. Again, Mother Nature at her best. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Hello, you. You are just a little bit beautiful. 35 by 25 millimetres each. Okay, we've got so many people on the phone lines and uh, lots of people grabbing them already on the website. You, they're available to get at VPG P53. So the original price was 14.95. These are one of the best bargains that we've ever done on Agate, I think. Don't you think, team? Yes! Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, Ollie's just gone, whoa, this really is good. Okay, 14.95. 14.95, forget about it, forget about it. Forget about it. Is that, that's not a good impression, is it? It's flying out so quickly. Oh. <gasps> They're massive. Can you imagine doing some wire wrapping on these as well? Can you imagine just one of those as a beautiful pendant using it on a silver chain? You are, you're seriously going to kick yourselves if you're not calling in for this now. You will seriously kick yourself if you're not calling in for this now. Um, get more than one. <laughs> uh, get, get, get three, get four. Okay, we need to bring in the price. So they were originally fourteen ninety five. The code is VPG. P53, they are stunning, stunning, stunning. They're £7.95, they were £14.95 originally. This is genuine gemstone, measuring 35 by 25 millimetres each. The code is VPG P53. It's a free phone number on the bottom of your screen and it's one post and packaging price all day. Hello, jewellery makers. <laughs> you see this, doesn't a bargain like that as a jewellery maker just get you excited yeah. about what we can offer? Look at that. I mean, yeah, how many of us have happily paid? Fourteen ninety five for this before. Great price. Bit of a bit of a bargain. VPG P five three. In any moment, I'm coming over to you, Max, to see how you've done with your challenge today. So seven pounds and ninety five pence. I'll be going over to Max in approximately oh seconds. Ah! Goodness me. Okay. Thirty five by twenty five millimeters each. Seven pounds and ninety five pence. Are we? actually serious on this now don't worry if you hit a queue currently join the live show you're going to be all right to get there on the repeat show i can't make any promises but my goodness go for it kim's saying you should be all right because we've got good stock available for it so definitely give it a whirl definitely give it a try 600 carrots for seven pounds and 95 pence think how many pendants you've got there many many VPG P53. That makes me think of, have you seen Two and a Half Men, the comedy? It's the one that Charlie Sheen was in and it was a big hoo-ha. But, <laughs> but if I, I've never really properly watched the programme. However, have you seen the beginning? Men, 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 many men. Ooh, ooh. And it's this little boy, he must have been about seven. He goes, ooh, ooh, ooh. 
just me then? Okay. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Max, I'm killing time, so you've got time to set up. I'm killing That's time. That's all right. I'm, I'm ready whenever you are. Okay, so... Uh, uh, once again, ooh. I'm not finished, but... Never am. Uh, we're just going to take a look now at these before we go over to see how Max has used them. This is black Labradorite. Wowzers. <laughs> they are gorgeous. We'll show you the uh, components that Max has used alongside these as well. The stunning black Labradorite, that really gives that deep, intense backdrop to all the jewellery that he's made today with that beautiful golden shiller that we have there, silvery shiller and blue hues of the uh, shiller as well. GBQZ85, the shiller. The what, Claire? Shiller. The what, Karen? Shiller. The what, Max? Shiller. All together now. Shiller. GBQ Z85 290 carats. Seven pounds and ninety-five pence for black Labradorite. This is absolutely incredible. We're gonna come over now and see how Max has used this and all the other details that you'll you'll see popping up on the bottom of your screen. So you're busy still working away on one piece there. Yeah, That's amazing. Shall I set working. up your other ones for you? Yeah, if you want. There's a, a pair of earrings here. Oh wow, oh they're fab! <gasps> and there's Can a, you imagine how these are gonna move? And there's a, a necklace here. Oh, right, as well. bear with me a second, we'll get Do you it. some stands. I'll go get one. Um, well, okay. La, 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 la. I didn't think about that bit, no. Pardon? I said I didn't think about that bit needing a stand to put it on. There you go. <gasps> this is lovely. Well, you can talk us through. Okie dokie. While I'd you're talking through that, I'll just grab you an earring stand. Oh, you know what? I was just over there. Oh, that's all right. Don't you Should've worry. I need one. the exercise. Uh, yes. Um, so I decided to use the, the monofilament because I've not really used it much before. So I thought I'd have a, have a play with it also because these... Where have um, you used the monofilament? This? Oh, that's the beading the thread. Is it? Yeah. That's the colour beading thread. Is it? Yeah. But you isn't it what? slim? It's it just is. Really slim. I thought that it was monofilament yeah. line. I was thinking, oh. Yeah. Well, that explains that then. But it's... um. It's not. It's it's, it's probably really, the point really two thin. two five mil. I know. Yeah. Well, I mean, there you go. But I would actually. I'm going to question that myself because it feels. It does. It does actually it's, have it's a like core It's like it's between the somewhere between the two, isn't it? But you can see the movement now. Look at this collection. I love the. Oh, I love what you've done there. The use of those together at the bottom of these earrings. Cheers. Thank you. Well, that that's kind of what I was going for sort of dangly earrings with a little bit of um, kinetic in them so they so they move a bit when you wear them and then following that just yeah you, making making use of this blue um, what I thought was monofilament but clearly is not <laughs> but it's I know what you mean because it's slimmer than the typical beading thread if we just have a look at this necklace here look at the attention detail Max has put into this every single one has got this little knot in place in order yeah. to hold the bead there, and that's beautiful. The reason I've done it this way is because the illusion knot, where you pass it back through itself, some of these are a little bit too narrow to allow the, the thing through twice, to allow the beading thread through twice. So I, I used a knot instead, because I didn't think it was that obtrusive. And there you go. Awesome. And then, sorry to rush you, we've run out of time and yeah. we want to see this. You know what? I don't think this has worked how I wanted <gasps> it to. That's all right, don't worry. I was trying to make... Um, like a, a cuff, cuff style. Yeah. A no, cuff. I think that's going to be amazing. But I think I've made my... Um, you can see, right, see basically what I've done here is make little wire separators. Yeah. But I think they're a little bit too wide. I wanted everything to sit closer together. So, oh, I see. But yeah, with, with the limited amount of time, I mean, it's... What live, I tend to do, live telly. Yeah. <laughs> what I tend to do is make something and then if it doesn't work, take it apart and adapt things and put it back together again. So I think what I would do is probably um, what I was originally going to do, which is this one here, um, which is put a loop in the middle of it. Ah, uh, that'll bring it all See, together. See, yeah, and that'll bring it all Fab. together. Whereas, well, I'm, yeah, had time sorry to we've do had that. to rush you at the end. We're That's literally right. about to go off air. So thank you to all of you for joining us today. I'll see you back again on.
Friday, I think, and we'll see Bella or yourself It'll on be Tuesday Bella, yeah. next week. Thanks again for joining us. Catch the repeat shows. Enjoy all today's bargains and really look forward to seeing what you think about tomorrow. How to knot elastic. Take your beaded bracelet and simply perform a straightforward overhand knot. Next, you need to repeat the process and do another knot on top to make sure that this is doubly secure. Once this has been done, you need to pull as tight as you can to make sure that your bracelet is secure. Once you've done this, you can add a touch of glue or even a touch of nail varnish just to doubly check that that knot is perfectly safe.